Shut up and sit down. There you go. Like a depressed goat. Yeah, and slight delay there, folks. Slight delay from me pressing the button of goodness to it. Come up on screen. How doodly doodly doodly, folks. I myself had forgot that I was frolicking tonight, as well as Fox. We remembered last minute, really, mate, didn't we? But, yeah. but anyway, hello, hello, hello. And welcome hello. to the Friday Frolic with me, Colin, Festa 67's workshop. And him. Model making Hello, guru. Fox from Model Making Guru. Yeah. Hello. Oh, good mate, Foxy Kids from Model Making Guru. Oh. So, folks, if you would like to keep this all coming and the content coming and, and all of this lot and help me massively by supporting the channel, head over to patreon.com slash Festa67's workshop or click the join button below this or any of my other content on the channel and consider becoming a member or a patron. That gives you mm. access to the Zoom 24 7 off air hangout. Another way of supporting is click dollar sign and whop in a super chat. You get a bit of on screen. <laughs> and all of that. Like, it helps me out massively. It helps pay for this iDev StreamYard and all that goes with it. So there you go. Big thank you to everyone that does that for me and helps me out. It is massively supported and appreciated. All right, after my wall of chat there, which is all the affiliate links where you can save money on your tabletop gaming needs and go over to Scalmates and view me stash and become a mate, we have got Guru in the chat and myself saying good evening to everyone. I'd like to say hello to myself. I don't know, mate, but I was waving <laughs> to people as they was coming in the chat and narrating before uh -huh. I pushed the button. Well, it, you don't realise that he was reading out the chat to me and I'm like, he was like, why I are we was, doing that? We're not I'm even sitting live there yet. waving, going, oh, Connie's in, hello. And I don't, yeah, we weren't even live. <laughs> LWA says, has everyone had a wee? Because we're not stopping once we get going. Absolutely, mate. Our yep. very own model making Carl Sagan is in saying hi, Festa, hi, model making guru, LWN, and all in chat. The idea of science as a method rather than as a body of knowledge is not widely appreciated outside of science, <laughs> or indeed in some corridors inside of science. There you go, good Sagan quote. He's in early there, wasn't he? Welcome in, Jeff, as well, mate. Lovely to see it. As Fox said, are we mm -hmm. there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Max McGinn is in, says, Evening, all just got back from work. Did you rush, Max? Because tonight is the Max McGinn Friday frolic. All will be revealed in the minute. But I need all right. you all to point at your screens now. Look down the camera and go, Oi, McGuinn, it's your fault. You. You. All will like be I'm revealed. 19th... Absolutely. All will be revealed shortly, but it's definitely <laughs> Max's fault. Bobbins is in, says hello, frolickers. Hello, Bobbins. How you doing, geezer? Yeah, James Bob. is in, says evening, morning. Colin Fox, all in chat. Fester of Fox. Ups. Hello, James, Shania, and Alicia. If James is in, does that mean it's not Max's fault anymore? Um, well, what I'm building is Max's fault, but everything else is James's fault. James's fault. fault. Yep, yeah, that works. Uh, Lewis is in. PJ says, push that plug in there. Move those cables out of the way. Unplug that one and that one and switch on. Bzz, bzz. Hi there, frolickers. Hello, PJ. I hope you keep doing well, PJ. mate. Lovely to see you in. Uh, the lovely Connie is in, says hello. Colin Fox and friends in chat. Hello, hello. Connie. Hello, see, Connie. We're live now. I can do it. Do you want mock Yeah, me? you can wave. Yeah. Uh, PJ's giving out the Friday evening hugs. And Jeff Light is in. He says, I, Cole Fox, and everyone in chat. Hello, Jeff. And big hugs to Maggie Hello, as well. Lovely yep, yep, yep. to see you both. Uh, PJ says, Evening, Brick Boy to James. James saying hello to Jeff. PJ saying hello to Maggie and Jeff, as is Connie. Peaches mm -hmm. is in, says evening. Oh, sorry, I'm late. I was putting a pizza in the oven. Can't just say Who pizza. Earth, nah, nah. Well, you is that what the they call ingredients, it now? don't they? Yeah. Come on. Is that what they call it now? I was putting a pizza in the oven. James says, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right, it's Max's fault. Max says, I accept the blames. Mate, I've been fettling again today, you. Yes, you. So, yeah. Although, to be fair, before we went live, he didn't do any fettling, even though there were tools on his bench. No. 
I've You've done been a really, pretty good boy. I'm really well, didn't I? <laughs> You've been uh, a good girl tonight uh, so far. James says, maybe I spoke too soon. And he says, Fox, you're a git. Oh, he's a, he's, a, he's a rotter, isn't he, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I don't know, mate. There's no benefits mm. for you, is there? No. Uh, Scout Modeling Chaos says, Hooray, with Max and James taking the blame, no. I'm off the hook for getting Colin addicted to that hunting game. No. No. Mate, oh, I've bought loads of DLC for it as well. So, no, you're not off the hook. Uh, what am I building tonight? What are you building tonight, Cole? Oh, yeah, you ask. You hear me ask? <laughs> There's a bit of it. Uh, cigarettes. Nope. I had smoke. Uh, Life size assault rifle. Nope. There's another bit of it. Ooh. An enormous uh, eyebrow. There's another bit of it. And <laughs> it's some more bits of it. Yes, folks. Yeah, let me put your full screen down. Yeah, I am starting the Mad Max Fiend Ork Doof Vargon. Look at that bad boy. Oh. Yeah, and it's got another set of these to go the other side. But you'll notice the speakers are a bit longer than the vehicle. So this nice printed base, I'll cut it in half in a minute because I can. So, yes, mm -hmm. this is all Max's fault because in the Zoom the other night, he asked me how the doof wagon or when I was going to start it. And I said, well, it's in the box right next to me. So I just spun around and grabbed it, and it's not been off the bloody bench since. <laughs> So, yeah, and I've got all kinds of things going on there. I've got old drum drummer. Look at that. You some of him. Uh, guitarists. <laughs> I've got singers. I've got me goth rocker. I got last year. He's going to go oh, yeah. in. Uh, where is he? He's there. Okay. Uh, that bad boy. Yeah. So he's going to go in there. Uh, we got all of that. We've got another guitarist who's got the cutest amplifier speaker shoulder pads with exhaust pipes on. Reminds me of Claptrap. Uh, I've got Claptrap just there. <laughs> see what I did. Um, I see not, what did not that I've got enough speakers, but I've got a thing full up with all kinds of amps and bits and pieces. <laughs> There's even French horns. Yeah, because it's a thing. I've got loads of other bits in there for the truck as well. All kinds of speakers and dubbings, another pre-wired speaker. So, yeah, I'm going to be starting the assembly purely and simply because I want to build it, get it primed, so that it can start talking to me as what it wants me to do with it when it comes to painting. Mm. And I can't do that when it's sat in the box where I can't see it. So, no. so yeah, it's going to be a one-of-a-kind, slightly unique thing. Obviously, it's going to be wired up because it's going to have an Arduino Uno in there or perhaps even a Raspberry Pi. And it's going to have audio and all of that, like music playing and stuff like that, because I can. Yeah, Max says four. Look at that beast. Yeah, so it's all Max's fault. But thanks, Max, because you kind of got me working on something that I had actually forgotten, that I had designed and printed out. So mm. I owe you one, mate. Yeah. There you go. What are you up to tonight? Right. I'm painting some rats. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm carrying on with my skaven. I there you go. The week. There's um, not what I got. Um, I'm, I've got nothing impressive to show. So. Belly, bench, beverage, and biscuits. Uh, Scout mm -hmm. modeling, chaos, belly, pizza, ham, sausage, spicy beef, and meatballs. Happy days. <laughs> bench is his 35th Amvi. Beverage, Coke, biscuits, none. He's got chocolate-filled donuts instead. That'll do. Nah. Max goes <laughs> to cool, look at that base. It is yep. a bit of a beastie kids, Max, isn't it, mate? Mm. So, yeah, now that I've done that speaker, I can weld this together, see, and uh, start the ball rolling, so to speak. And, uh, He's off. Yeah. Uh, so you've got um, what are these little figures you got there, Geese? You've just told these us. Are, this is my Skaven Vanguard set, or at least the Skaven from it. I've not got the yeah. big out. Which comes with uh, three Storm Fiends, 20 Skaven Clam Rats, and a big vehicle thing. Yeah. And I just started painting the actual base layers onto the Skaven Clam Rats the other day. Right. And it's, it's, it's still at the, it looks like it's been painted by a three year old stage. So I've got loads of different colours to oh, add bit, to the bases. Bit, bit like my paint jobs, good man. Yeah, on a good day. But uh, <laughs> I jest. I jest. Ar arrogant git. It's all right. I jest. Hey, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, though. No, no. In all honesty, that apron that you put on that butcher. 
it's nice. Oh, you like that? Yeah, because yeah, it's like it's like a bit nice bit of like dark red leather. Yeah. You was badgery me to send you a picture of me being me. I was like, oh, it don't matter. I don't need my stuff pimping. I don't want to pimp. And he's like, send me the photos. Send me the photos. Yep. I'm yeah, always a reluctant pimper. You're re <clears throat> you're reluctant everything you are. But. Yeah, that apron looks fabulous. Come out all right, doesn't it? Yeah. It's nice, nice sort of... Uh, it's got that kind of... I used to have a pair of Oxblood brogues many years ago. It reminds me of those. Reminds me of my old Oxblood Martin boots. Oh, yeah. Oxblood. Mm. Well, yeah, Oxblood. Just... I hardly knew her. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's what we did there. So. Doesn't really work, though, does it? No, not really. <laughs> don't want to add anything to him, I don't think. There you go. So I'm going to start the welding process on this bad boy. So he's uh, kind of done. Cut a bit of that off and have a bit of infill. This is why infill. I always, always keep my offcuts of 3D printing filament because I can use mm -hmm. it as a welding stick. See, filament is a lovely word. It's a brilliant word, context, isn't it? context, it's quite absurd. Absolutely. Yeah. Happy days. Uh, LWM says belly chicken curry and rice bench is a 187 big boy locomotive. Uh, OJ and Biggie's, uh, none orange and banana, he says. Happy He's days. got a big boy on his bench, has he? Yeah. Uh, Peachy says, Look at the size of that. You may have to move the camera to get everything in shot. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it is mate. Of a not unusual size, though, isn't it? And not insignificant size, even. Yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? It's just, yeah, you got to do big it. One of them, yeah. I think you'll find. you got to do it. Right, I'm starting the night by trying to get paint out of the paint lid. Very satisfying endeavor. Oh, nice one. But you do end up covered in paint. <laughs> dee, 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 dee. Yeah, so I started putting the paint on these little dudes, and I was like, these look absolutely terrible. <laughs> and I, I, I know I have to have faith, but it's because it's all fur. And it's, you, you're just painting base colours at this point. It's like, oh, God, they look terrible. It's like, just, just stick with them. Just trust yeah, they'll the come process. good, mate. Use the force, Luke. Well, force. I, I got a bit down painting, and then I painted that bit for the Lord Croak, and I'm like, you know what? I'm up again now. Yeah, the force is strong within you, young Padaway. <sighs> uh, Max McGinn says, no problem, mate. It's always nice to go back to old bills to recharge creative juices. Don't it start certainly about Festus is, fluids. mate. We don't need to talk about Festus fluids, thank you. Uh, belly crispy chicken breadsteaks and waffles says uh, JC Bricks and Bills. Oh, nice Bench, one. Next car to modify is the Tamiya One Twenty Fourth Subaru Bruz, starting tomorrow. Beverage was cherry Pepsi. Ooh. Uh, Peach says belly mega hot capitals H O T chili and rice. Oh, nice. Bench One Ninth M H F. I'll start that again. Bench One Nine M F H Bruff Superior S S One Hundred. Oh, nice. Beverage How's that coming on page. Uh, beverage old speckled hen good choice biscuit much earlier dark chock digesting what just the one just one single biscuit just the one mrs eat. wembley you can't just eat one i actually i actually ate and i have to admit there's half a pack of chocolate digestives today for breakfast good man i got up and had a cup of coffee and went, i'm really hungry and i don't want to make anything chocolate biscuits <laughs> Uh, Jeff Light says, belly earlier, fish and chunky chips with coleslaw, almost finished a diamond dart of Grogu beverage as it's Friday, Bacardi and lemonade. Ooh, stick the little finger out. Stick the little finger out. Oh, enjoy. nice one, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Peaches says, when it's finished, Colin will say to H, do you want to see the size of this thing? And she reply, oh, do I have to? It's not even your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I think she'll probably just go, really? Again? Yeah, be like, really? Oh, well, you know. I, I can't call her anything but Hibs now. You do realise that. <laughs> Called her it earlier. She went, what'd you just call me? Nothing. Never said a word, dear. <laughs> and Hibs and Dibs. I suppose I'd be Fibs. If I was uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Hibs and Dibs, yeah. I was told off by both, but I, you know. <laughs> Wouldn't be me. You probably deserved it, let's just be honest. Uh, yeah, yeah. She did, uh... 
Whenever there's a telling off, you know you deserve it because you're alive and breathing. And talking uh, yeah, it was Monday. Yeah. yeah. It was one. I did say to you it would end that way. I wasn't far wrong. Yeah. Damn it. I just see you doing a, 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 a President Bartlett just looking at him going, oh, God, am I still here? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry, am I still here? Oh, God. Yeah, I can definitely associate with that character. Oh, God, I'm sorry, am I still here? That's my favourite line of any TV show. Uh... Yeah, I thought I was dreaming. <laughs> Damn it, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do feel the need, I, I do feel that at some point I'm going to have to figure out how to get Gibbs, 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 Gibbs into conversation. Oh, yeah. Every now and then. I don't quite know how. Like, maybe if I'm showing something off. Yeah, because it's your like new Gibbs, favourite. Gibbs, 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 Gibbs. It's your new favourite show now, isn't it? Oh, it's it is my favourite show. It's almost as good as Bluey, but not quite. God, how can you say that? Because it's Bluey, man. You're right, PJ. Do you need to sit down, mate? I was telling my brother, my brother phoned the other day to, to wish uh, Mama Wolf a happy birthday. Yeah. And um, I can't remember how we got onto it. Oh, he said, he said, he says, I could, because mum has the speakerphone on because she's, you know, Matt and Jeff. Yeah, Matt and Jeff, yeah. So she put, not on speakerphone, but she puts on like, a, it's got like an assisted hearing thing where it boosts the volume a bit, but I can hear it. Oh, yeah. And he, I could hear him saying, oh, yeah, I've just got Disney Plus. Will you ask Fox if there's anything I should watch? <laughs> Oh, well, I wonder I said, what was what? the first thing you suggested. Yeah, well, no, I actually said, I said, you've got all of NCIS, all the Marvel stuff, and, of course, you need to watch Bluey. And he went, oh, what's Bluey? Says the says the parent with three kids. How can you not know what Bluey? Then again, I thought, he is an engineer, so he's, he's a bit uh, boring. Yeah. yeah, he's not going to know then, is he? He won't know such things. He's, he's, he's you know, he's not down with the kids. <laughs> he's a bit like Gibbs. He's still on a flip phone. Until recently, <laughs> I've rolled a flip phone. I, I quite like flip phones. That's the biggest thing that annoys Helen is the lack of flip phone availability. Mm. Yeah, no. she wants an iPhone flip phone. That's that. That would be her dream phone. It would be good if somebody made a flip smartphone. I know you get the folding phones, but that's that's just ponty nonsense. We don't. We're not. We're not hipsters. Razor, do <laughs> didn't they? Motorola. They got the new variant of the Razor. Have they? Oh, is it a yeah. flippy phone? Flip phone? Oh, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, flip smartphones, uh, yeah. All oh, right, okay. I stand correct. I, see, I, as an Apple man, I don't look at other phones because there's no point. All right, got a bit of that. So, what's that going off? Have you got a bit of that, Cole? We got a bit of that. Have you got a little bit of that? Yeah. I've got my gap there that'll be filled in a minute. But... Yeah, fill your gaps. Uh, I'll tell you what, I could cut another one of them and do, do that top bead, couldn't I, yeah? Before I get the saw out and start chopping stuff up. Uh, new, Fen yeah. new Fenris Railroad is in saying hi, guys. Hello, mate. How you hello. doing? Lovely to see hello, you. Hello, hello, hello. Hope you're keeping well, mate. Mm-hmm. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome to our little show of nuttiness. Yes, our little Fenrisian friend. Spoiler, they're not wolves. <laughs> You'll know what that means. I suspect. Who? Me? No, new Fenris. Assuming it's a Warhammer reference, you'll know what that means. I think it is. Yes, in that case, when I say they're not wolves, <laughs> you'll know exactly what that means. I think he's uh, further down the hole than you are. <gasps> Excellent. Yeah. I do believe. I could be wrong. I could be right. Clearly, clearly a space wolves man. Let's uh, get around to painting my space wolves. Yeah, I was going to say, Spare. you had a few, didn't you, in the stash to do? Yeah, it's it's one of those like just really pleasing colour schemes because it's all blue-greys and it's like so nice. I mean, you, you know the colours, the Fenris, uh, yes. you grey and the fact. Uh, yeah. oh, they're so nice, such nice colours. Yeah, it's a nice scheme, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I've only painted like three Space Marines and the the dropship so far in in Space Wolves colours, and that was a while. That was a good few years ago. Yeah, great fun. So I've got all I've got the the um, 
combat patrol. Right, yeah. I'll have to get around to painting. I built it, I just never got around to painting. And I gave them all, instead of the more the boring helmets, somebody 3D printed a load of the actual wolf's head helmets. Oh, right, yeah. Because you get, like, in one of the old packs, you get, like, two of these, like, wolf's head helmets. Yeah. And they're so cool, I've given them all wolf's head helmets. <laughs> Which is completely not correct, yeah, you but got I don't care. Yeah, you got proper into them then, did you? Yeah. Good well, you're giving, a, you're giving a big space marine as a wolf head helmet. It's, yeah, I get it. So I must get around to painting them. At the minute, it's all grey plastic with this transparent green uh, wolf's head that looks like little jewels. It's quite pleasing to look at. In a funny little way. Yeah. Happy days. It's just... Trim that down. Might as well. What a Space Marine chapter you would be if you if you were doing space? I've got no marines. idea, mate. I've got a Space yeah. Marine up there. Imperial Fists is that one? Yeah. That's that's one. They're yellow. Here you go, folks in chat. If you know your Space Marine chapters, which chapter do you think would be good for Colin? I'm I'm thinking. <sighs> <laughs> you're thinking of something that just slaps people, ain't you? I know what you're thinking. No, I'm thinking of like, like, um, oh god, which is the one where it's all the best of the best? Is it Death Watch? It's got all the the best. They're all black armor. Honestly, I, I wouldn't them. know, mate. Yeah. I'm heavily reliant on the likes of yourself and Max for that sort of thing because. Yeah. I don't have a clue. I just go with whatever people decree, mate. Well, if anybody in chat knows Space Marines, which one do you think would be Fester? Which chapter would suit Fester best? <laughs> Fester Bester. You're trying to get me down another hole by the sound of it. Oh. Nope. <sighs> nope. Can't be that many more that I can't fit down, to be honest with you. All right, let's get... Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing with space marines is they're not they're not that complex of paint jobs, so they're not that you wouldn't probably find them that interesting. Well, all paint schemes are interesting, aren't they? Well, I mean, as in, as in, as no, I mean, as in to actually do because they're they're kind of fairly straightforward. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them are. Not like painting a harlequin or a yeah an orc or something. D D Black Templar says Jeff Light. Mm. Uh, He's my, a uh Pe Peaches says my they they have like dark armor, but they have like the white scab tabards and things. Yeah. Uh Iron Hands is a good one because they like to tinker with robots, cyborgs, and war machines. Yeah, they've got silver armor. Dark iron silver armor. Um, you'd like that actually. Uh my boss's son, says Peaches, spent today at Games Workshop and loved it. I forgot to tell her how much he's going to cost her if he falls down the hole. <laughs> yeah. That's the downside, isn't it? <laughs> What's this word, if? Yeah. If. It's kind of a pointless word in that sentence, if. You appear to have accidentally put the word if in there. I knew I was going down the hole when I started seeing how many points I was accumulating on Goblin. Yeah. When Well, when you started paying attention to how many points. Yeah, it was like... Getting interested in you, like... Oh, my yeah, it was God. like, yeah, so down that hole now. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying I'm down any holes, but I, uh, <laughs> I, I have used your I have used your um, affiliate links over the last few weeks. I know. From Element Games and Hobby Workshop, is it? Uh, yeah, Hobby Workshop, mm -hmm. Element Games, Cromlick. Yeah. Because I got myself this Vanguard set, and I got myself a couple of the Horus Heresy Solar Auxilia sets. Uh, with the two tanks, yeah, and... you're them as well, haven't you already? Uh, not built, not finished building it yet because I got onto yeah. painting these. I built the tanks. Yeah. I've not built the dudes. I was in the middle of building the little walker. Yeah, because I saw you was putting pictures up, wasn't you? Of, mm. of them, I was like, God, you built them quick. Well, the thing is, the tanks are uh, the tanks are actually really nicely done. I'll tell you what. What the, the 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 two tanks that come in the Solar Auxilia set? These new Horus Heresy tanks. Yeah. For anyone that doesn't know, Horus Heresy is like Warhammer 40k, but it's 10,000 years before, so it's 30k. Yeah. The, uh, it's a lot of the old Forge World stuff that they've now put into plastic. Oh, right, yeah. 
um, because Horus Heresy stuff was always in Forge or Resin before. Yeah. These new tank kits, they're almost like actual proper tank kits. Yeah. But instead of having like a floor panel and an upper hull, and you just stick the tracks on the side and add greebles, it's actually got like the upper hull is like five or six different pieces that all slot together. All right, yeah. Or the floor panel is like these different interlocking parts and you've got side walls and stuff. And it's like, this is almost like building an, an actual tank kit. Almost. Yeah. Whereas, you know, normal stuff like the Lehman Russes and stuff, it's not really like building, say, a Tamiya, an old Tamiya. It's almost like an old Tamiya kit. There's, they've actually got panels that split into small components where they didn't need to before. It's like, yeah. I'm, like I'm liking this. Happy days. Go, but then they leave a big hole in the bottom of the barrel in the turret, which is like, oh, really? You were doing so well, G-dubs. They yeah, are nice, though. Yeah. They're very, very good. Very close to the Forge World designs. Really good. Yeah, it's... We're in that safety net now, though, haven't we? Because we haven't been caught out by the Forge World site for a long time now because it's all changed, does not it? It's all gone over to the well, one now, so... Yeah, so it's even easier to get caught out by it now because you just have to go to Games Workshop and you're on Forge World. But... but yeah. I've got nowhere to put any more white box. I've I've moved all my white boxes from the spare room. Oh right, yeah. To my, my where my stash was to actually in this room on top of the cabinet where I had some other stuff that I've got rid of. Yeah. So I can see them all now, and they can call to me. Yeah. Uh, um, is that what they're doing? Is it? Oh, you know the lure of the white box, Carl. Uh, yes, I do, mate. Yeah. I got caught many times <laughs> by the white box. Yeah, there's some. If people, don't, if you've never been to, if you've never bought a Forge World kit, there's something about the white box that just it it just calls to you. Like normal a normal Warhammer kit, you've got like box art and a picture of the model and words and stuff. Forge World, it's a white box and it just says Games Workshop Forge World on it. Yeah, it's a bit like buying and a white like, label album, isn't it? It's just like yeah, or a new iPhone. It's, it's like iPhone packaging. That's what. That's what. Oh it is. yeah, Luring. breaking out a new iPhone and just getting that first <gasps> unboxing. <sighs> yeah, that's why. They, that's why they're so alluring because it reminds me of having a new iPhone. Yeah. Damn it, Games Workshop know what they're doing. <laughs> so you get the same kind of box if you ever buy one of the things from Games Workshop, and you, it's the online only. If anyone's ever bought from that, and it's you can't buy it in the local Warhammer store. You have to go to the online and yeah. it comes in that like generic white box it's like that but it's like i've got a whole shelf now of just white boxes calling to me yeah there you go that's that all welded together now that one Ooh. <laughs> you don't awesome miss. there you go folks i'm getting a real kind of wily e. coyote acme kind of equipment kind of vibe from that uh yeah it's gonna be rather like that mate it's yeah <laughs> and just the beauty of it is it. is i can cobble it together at this stage because it's got to have all the bolts, all the dirt, the detritus, and it's all, it don't matter, it's made of scrap. Mm -hmm. Edward Leonard's head, squishy a lot. There you go. Welcome, 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 Edward. I hope you keep it well, mate. And just because you've not seen him for a few days, I'll give him a bonus shrimp. Oh, good man. He'll be proud of that. Bonus shrimp free of charge. I'll just mute yeah. for a sec whilst I'm soaring. Okie dokie. Uh, let's have a quick look at chat, see what you're doing. Uh, it's been a while since I found myself in a hole, says old BM. Me too, mate. Far too long. But hey, that's the life we lead. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, never mind. Um, uh, uh, he's only eight, so next week he could be into something new, says Peaches, about the... Uh, uh, once you get into Warhammer, he'll be into Warhammer. Is it a long way for him to go, or was it like local to Warhammer World? Or did he go to the actual Warhammer World, or was it just your local Games Workshop store? Uh, they have blackened armor with cogs insignias, plus they replaced their limbs. With yeah, they've got the Mechanicum thing on, haven't they? That's it. Black Templars. Uh, Colin and Fox are so far down the hole, they have mining equipment. I have a box full of canaries. Edward Leonard says, I finished my Forge World things unlike other people's. I I cannot deny my enormous pile of Forge World stuff, including three Squigoths. I have the Gargantuan Squigoth. 
I have the regular Squigoth, and then I have a Cromlech Norzilla, which is, I think, slightly bigger or slightly... I think it's a little tiny bit bigger than the regular Squigoth. Obviously a lot smaller than the Gargantua Squigoth. It's got three of the things to build. <laughs> Uh, Max McGinn says, don't worry, even super old Games Workshop kits come in their white boxes. Yeah, but there's something about knowing yeah. inside that white box is like resin. Well, it's like when super we got the Stompers, <laughs> wasn't it? They came in the mm. plain white packaging. There's just something about that that white box that just, it just, I don't know. It just shouts premium product and, and lies to you. Right. We have got that. Oh, I'll weld that back on in a sec. So we've gone and, from... Yeah, carry on. I was going to say, to me, like resin kits, I've always considered resin kits as like grown-up model kits. Oh, right. So, like, to know that inside that box is like a load of resin stuff, it's like, oh, it's proper grown-up model kit. Ooh. I don't know why. Yeah. I've always seen like plastic kits as, as fun, but resin kits as proper hardcore models. They're just fun to do, though, aren't they? Let's be honest. Yeah. I, I dreaded doing them. Until, I've got used to them now and I actually enjoy doing them, but I was always afraid of them before I'd done many of them. Right. But I love the fact on the GW website it's labelled as Expert Kits 15 Plus. <laughs> it's like, what? Well, it was us two idiots out then. Yeah. It's like, really? 15? You only have to be 15? I mean, I could barely paint a model when I was 15. Oh, I was I was so going to come out with well, what's changed then, but I thought better not. You should have done. No, I couldn't be cruel. Unlike you earlier, I couldn't be cruel. <laughs> hey, I'm sure there's a Gibbs rule about taking advantage whenever you get the chance. <laughs> yeah, I'll ask Hibbs. She'll tell me. I'll tell you everything. Right. Then she'll grash you up to dibs. <sighs> Sorry. If Mama Wolf tells you off, does that make her Mibs? Yeah, Mibs, that'll work. Or Wibs. <laughs> yeah, Mama Wolf. Yeah, Mama Wolf, because it's M, isn't it? Yeah. Bless her. She would tell me off anyway, just for the sake of it, your mum. Yeah. And if I tell him off, I'm just git. <laughs> it doesn't really work. Oh, I'm welling up now. I told you, stop taking them, them weird little pills. <laughs> Told you they'd make you big. It was just a local store, but we live in Nottingham. Oh, dear God. In that case, you're doomed. Uh, yeah. Yeah, if you actually live in Nottingham, not far from Warhammer World, yeah, take the lad there and just get it over with. It was nice knowing you. Yeah. Because just rip the plaster off, take him there, and accept the fact that that's where his university budget's going to go for the next 15 years. PJ Lewis says, opening the big red model factory hero box is always a near spiritual experience. Ooh, oh, yeah. yeah. I can imagine that, PJ, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Having not uh, opened one, I can only imagine it, but yeah. Jeff Light says, oh, the gorgeous smell of newness. Uh, Edward says, hey there, PJ, hope all your parts are working. My back and knees are not cooperating. Oh, oh sorry to hear that, Edward. And he also gives both of us the finger of squig off shame. Well, he doesn't say if it's for both of us, but I'm taking it for both of us anyways. I did well. I printed a load of stuff off for mine. Mm, still haven't oh. finished it, though, have we? we have, neither of us have finished it. That's the thing. I know, but uh, yeah. the, word, the weight will be worth it, Edward, he says, rather unconvincingly. Mm-hmm. Max McGinn says, I do miss my Iron Hands army. A lot of it was Forge World upgrade spruce to make normal marine cyborgs. <laughs> PJ says, all parts are nominal, but at my age, every day that something doesn't break down or drop off is a bonus. <laughs> and the Bobbin says, a good mate of his is a senior manager at Games Workshop headquarters. Oh, nice Ooh. one. Yeah. That's a good, good factoid, that is. Mm. One step up from having an uncle at Nintendo, anyway. It is. It's like, you know, that's full-blown full, full blown bragging rights issued there, mate. Yeah. 
Okay, so we can have that bit. Oh, I painted that bit under his chinny chin chin. And weld back there. A bit painted, yes, yes. There is method to my madness, honest. I ordered myself the Skaven Codex so I could have some choices as to what colours to paint the Skaven. Oh, right, yeah. Um, and it's a beautiful book. Smells fantastic, full of information. And absolutely no information at all as to, like, clan colours or anything like that. Oh, really? I I'm thought like, that would be one of the first things in there. No, just, no. It, go, it tells you, like, the four main clans, the four main clans. But, like, a lot of the things you have, like, pictures of, like... 50 different like units in different color armor variations, or whatever. It's like, yeah, none of that. I'm yeah, like, oh, really. It's hmm. a tad annoying, isn't really. It? Yeah, so I got I got the, the the book for Warhammer Horus Heresy to do the same for all the solar auxilia. Yeah, yeah, there's like four, there's like four pictures of different uniform colors, but there's like endless numbers of different uh -huh. color schemes. Like, really, you're not giving me all the information I want here. <laughs> ah, well, yeah, it's about as much as a handbrake on a canoe, then, mate, isn't it? Yeah, it's like saying there are three hundred different un uh, different cohorts of the solar auxilia. Here's three of them. Off you go. Yeah, it's like absolutely of no use to you then. Yeah, ah well, nice books though. Uh, LWM says getting an e-model supply drop tomorrow. Weathering powder and some black paint. Ooh. Oh, nice one. Get in. Um, Marcus is in, says, good evening, Colin, Fox, and chat. Hello, Marcus. Good Big evening, Marcus. How are you, my friend? Lovely mm -hmm. to see you. Uh, and Edward says, uh, by the way, I bought a couple of those 143rd Barbara model kits. They look awesome. Oh, nice one. I don't know what that is. I wish Skaven was in 40k, says Max. They would fit the setting very well, especially against orcs. Yeah, they would be. There's always been rumours of Skaven in 40k, but... They'd... I think the the um, the Tyranids are the kind of mass troop type enemy, aren't they? So that's what my lad's uh, mainly into the Tyranids. Mind you, he's got a few creatures because I did explore that box of Warhammer that arrived in the end. Because yeah, yeah I couldn't I couldn't not. Yeah, it'd be rude not to. It was a conspiracy though, because <laughs> someone did suggest it. It was like, do it, do it. I see he's at work. Yeah, do it. That I, was it. I I said nothing to anybody about anything, and I deny all the things. I've I'm still got the messenger. Me. Have you discovered what's in that big box of orky goodness yet? I still have the evidence yeah. on you. You're you're a PC type. You can do techie hacking and stuff. <laughs> Is that what you're calling it now? Yeah, you can do computers. <laughs> If in doubt, blame me then, yeah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you're doing. I deny everything. Right, let's get that in there. Words on the screen proves nothing. There you go. And then we should, in theory. Once we've welded that together, have a nice goodly uh, length. Oh, to, to, I beg your pardon? Uh. There you go, that's better. Uh, well, hold it together. There you go, say like that. That's better, isn't it? See, one elongated truck. <laughs> that. That's just, that's just <laughs> the craziest thing. <sighs> Told you, mate. Uh, you leave festers unattended, unattended festers yep. come up with weird stuff. All I've got to say to that is bluey car. Yeah. It's like something that's like it's like something that was a love child of Dr. Seuss and Richard Scarry. Mm -hmm. Great, I love it. It's just a, another one of these <laughs> slightly weird creations that I'm up to. Slightly. I like the way you use the word slightly there. Almost sounded plausible, didn't it? Yeah, almost. There is no whitewash at the white Oh, yeah. Yeah. I just made like an early 1970s political reference. That's really just not ideal, is it? I was going to say, I'm pretty pretty stoked there, mate. You're really doing well, aren't you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I've always tried to be a bit current affairs, but that's not really current, I suppose, is it? I don't know, for us two. Three people in the audience will know what that was. It's 
tack that corner on. Tack it on. Like that. And I can scribe a line all the way down there. Do the same the other side. Did you do a little part then? Uh, no, I vaguely whistled. All oh, right. Yeah. I thought it was a bit high. I thought it was a bit high pitch for parpage. Yeah. Unless you were clenching a lot, I thought it was a bit. Uh, no, no, no parpage, mate. Rest okay. assured. I should, well, mind you, there wasn't this awkward sudden silence from your end which would have given uh, it away. No, normally that's what gives it away, yeah. E models <laughs> gate, yeah. I'm still getting reminded of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Someone messaged me the other day and was like, been out of the loop for a little while. I said, oh, that's, you know, unfortunate. Yeah, I just watched an E models video. You let rip. And I went, oh, okay. Can't deny it, can I? <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose the clue was a corpse in Guru. Yeah, well, it's impossible not to. <laughs> My missus just looks. That's not why me. Why do I get the broken I still, one? I still love the idea that you were sitting here and you could hear them laughing down any the other side end of the house, yeah. watching the video the next day. Oh yeah, I was, like, so I'm sat here for what are they laughing at? Yeah, and then I saw it. I was like, okay, and I just uh, meekly went to close the door, and she went, really? I was like, what? All right. Mm -hmm. All right, we can say that that's done for a minute. Uh, that is done for a minute. We've got the cab to go on. All right. I'll weld the other speakers together. Because they'll end up going somewhere up over there like that on scaffolding beams. And then there's a stage that goes between the two. So That famous Disney song, somewhere up over there like that. Uh, yeah, have you? Uh, I'm off that. <laughs> have you a bit of that, Mary Poppins? <laughs> I don't know what that was. I've got I'll no idea what that was, but... Hey, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just shut up now. You, you <laughs> seemed happy, dear. That's the key. I'm always happy. Right, let's get a bit of the old glop in there. Glop it. Uh, I'm going to be sacrilegious and use two of these mod, mod stupid things. Oh, are you? Oh, dear. <laughs> Wine glass Ponzi nonsense. <laughs> You're not happy, are you, dear? No. This is proper hardcore grippy stuff, and you can take that off and stick a tank on the top of it. Like that. I was just, mm, you can't do that anymore. Flipping nonsense. Right, what colour are these guys? They are... What colour do they use for these? That's number seven. <sighs> Which is, let me consult the leg end. Where's the book? <sighs> Number seven is Storm Vermin Fur. Come on down. Storm Vermin Fur. It is your time. <laughs> la, 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 la. PJ says, every time you mention the bluey kids toy, my left eye twitches. Ha, Dreyfus. Uh, and Peaches says, I am not a crook. Uh. Yeah, PJ's got that <laughs> Dreyfus twitch, bless him. <laughs> Does someone say clues, though? <laughs> yeah, I think he's forever scarred with that build. Yep. Yeah. And our work here is done. You can die happy. Exactly. Lesson. Who was that masked man? Yeah, Henry, the janitor. <laughs> Must remember to bong me gong before I float me boat. It's the only quote I remember from Hong Kong Fury. Uh, 
God, that's years ago, wasn't it? That that program mm -hmm. was on. Oh God, yeah. All late sixties, early seventies. Yeah. Oh yeah, Hong Kong ferry. I didn't exist in the late sixties. <sighs> yeah, you're an early seventies, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Seventy-one. Seventy-one. You're only a mere pup, then. The year that J get this right, this will make this this blew my mind. The year that Jason and the Argonauts was first shown on terrestrial TV. Oh right. I thought it was like a nineteen sixty, like early sixties. No, it only came out in sixty nine, uh, sixty eight, and it wasn't shown on TV until nineteen seventy one. I'm like, really? Because uh, I used to watch it as a kid and think it was an old film. My claim to fame is Adam Savage was born on exactly the same day as I was. Mm. Yeah. Your brother from a different mother? My brother from a different mother. Now, I can't remember which way round it is, but on my birthday, um, Disney was either born or died, and... Johann Sebastian Bach either was born or died. Oh, right, yeah. One of them each. Yeah, that's, that's my claim to fame. Adam yeah. Savage, born on my birthday. Well, the same day as me, or I was born the same day as him, should I say. He's more important than me and more famous, so yeah. I, I was born the that. same day as him. I wouldn't say he's more important to me than you are, because I can't talk to him. I can't send him. I can't send him rude messages on Xbox. Right? <laughs> yeah, I saw that the other day. It's like, yeah. He was there the other week. He says we must delete all our rude messages we keep sending each other on Xbox because they'll get the ump with us. And then what's he going to do? Poop. Yeah. Well, poops isn't that bad. I know, but you know how it started last time. It's like, yeah. It's, yeah, we do. It, we can't help ourselves, though, can we? It soon degenerates when us two start trading oh, in, insults in, in seconds. Oh, yeah. We are childish. Mm-hmm. I like the fact in the 24-7 uh, Zoom chat today, James, a.k.a. Retro Rabbit, put a picture up with a pack of googly eyes he's bought and saying, yeah. Uh, yeah, googly eyes always wins. Yep, and it's like, he says there's going to be some mischief, and I'm like, this is, oh, yes. this is this just proves that we are just big man children. Uh, yeah, definitely, mate. I've got a big um, bag of googly eyes, cat's eyes, lizard's eyes, all sorts of, you know. I keep meaning to get some googly eyes at some point, just cause right. mischief. Well, whilst that's drying, I can uh, start welding up the uh, other set of speakers, I think. This very long, very narrow build. Mm -hmm. Weld up your speakers. We can see where this is going to end up, mate, can't we? Um, with the shelf all to itself, pretty much. <laughs> Let's not mince words, Bones. It's going to not just be a shelf queen, it's going to have its own shelf. Yeah, I don't think you're far um, wrong, mate. <clears throat> Oops, excuse me. Ooh, that tastes good. To be honest with you, I don't think you're far wrong, mate. No. You'll be trying to negotiate with Hibs for like a, a shelf or something downstairs. You'd be like, love, do we need yes? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, she'll claim it. Oh, that's all right. If she claims it, then she can be responsible for where it goes. That's yeah, all right. Sure. That's she claims she claims all the weird weird things that I build. Nice. They all become hers. <laughs> Put that to one side a minute. I need to trim them off. Uh, drill them and put little inserts in. So I'll do that off there. Let's fire yeah, this back up. It's quite tricky to get to some of the fur on his on their faces when they've got like arms in the air with pointy sticks and things. You're a pointy stick. Can't quite get to all their jowls. Take that for a minute. I like that word, jowls. Jowls. Hmm. Let's just flip chat on. How's chat going? See, 
Uh, Peachy says I'm not a crook. What else? Uh, LWM spent all afternoon to the searchable paint manufacturers comparison database. That's uh, show what paints you have. Scale mates have got that. Got a paints mm -hmm. database that you can do. So Citadel, they've got an app for their paints. <sighs> I, th I think uh, you've got it in your group and I've got it in the boom hut in the file sections of our group. There's, I think, a generic like paint comparison chart in both uh, of our yes. groups. Yes, yeah. Somebody's uploaded at some point. Right. I'll be honest, though. I just I just go off, I just go off my eye. I get the colouring eye. And uh, yeah. If it says use this paint, it's like, well, it looks a bit like Fenrisian grey or whatever. Yeah, yeah if it does, use yeah. that one. And it's like, yeah, that'll work for me. That is the sad thing. After a while, if you know a paint brand well enough, after a while you you kind of you kind of know all the different paints. Oh so uh, yeah. I was watching a, a Duncan painting video today, and he was using all his paints. You know the the two thin coat oh, the ones. two thin coat ones, yeah. Uh, and he was painting something. And I'm sitting there going, "Well, that's Templar blue. That's Altdorf guard blue. Yeah. <laughs> that's now like that's you know I could I could see what it was what the Citadel paint equivalent would be. Without him saying. Thing is, like I say, there's so many paint ranges out there now that yeah, I can't can't, can't keep buying different paint ranges. No, I just haven't got any more space for paint, so I'll just stick to. I mean, yeah, I've got, I've got what I've got, and it's good enough for me. Yeah, I think as I'm so used to sitting on paints now that I have no desire to chase to a different brand. No, it's either acry acrylics or lacquers. It's good enough for me. Yeah, I mean, I've got no need for lacquers, so I've but. It's, um, that's the thing. It's I'm so used to these paints now that I, I, I can kind of I can kind of I know how they work. I know what they feel like. I have got a whole bunch of um, vehicle paints, but I barely used them because I can quite I, I, not perfectly, but quite often I can look at something and say, "Well, that's this paint," and I, like a you know, and I can I can in my head I know which GW paints it would be because I'm used to them. And I like that speed, rather than having to go through a drawer of colours and see which particular, say, Vallejo or MIG paint would work. It's like, I've got the muscle memory in my brain now for, for Citadel. Yeah. Plus, they're very good paints. Oh, they do what they say on the tin, don't they, mate? Mm hmm I love to brush them. I like to brush it, brush it. Da, 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 da. I've given this, I've given this little rat here like little grey fur, and his pink skin. But the fur goes down to his chin. Yeah, like a little neck beard, and it kind of looks like monkey, monkey magic you know, from Monkey Magic. Oh right, yeah. I'm kind of thinking he looks a bit like monkey now. <laughs> I'm worrying about ah, you. Pigs I'm worrying about you. Yes. Fipitaka. Deep, 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 deep. Uh, don't forget, folks, as well, I'm not streaming now until next Friday because mm -hmm. it's the first week of the month and I made a thing for myself where I take the first week of the month off now. Yep. So, uh, obviously, Sunday is Easter Sunday. Monday, obviously, bank holiday, so I might as well take the week and then we'll be back on the frolic this time next week so mm. yeah we don't stream on bank holidays yeah so. at least we don't stream e-models on bank holidays oh uh, yeah yeah i totally uh totally forgot and uh mm. yeah i think you might have mentioned it but i didn't pick up on it so i mean i, I i'm terrible i like i've said before the moment i left school i forgot when all the bank holidays are uh, public yeah. holidays which is weird because you spend like 14 years of your life in education and those 14 years all the school holidays are the most important days in the entire year oh check yeah. your chat there buddy uh marcus has put in an 11.99 euro super chat that's me off he says have a great weekend and a great easter holiday thank you very very much marcus yet again mate for thinking of dear old fester and i hope you and your family have a good easter as well mate are you streaming on saturday uh, if you are, feel free to put a link in, mate. Certainly. Yeah. Yay. Marcus does a stream over on his channel, suitably called Marcus. So uh, pop and say hello to him on Saturday night. Yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, he's been 14 years 
waiting for every single bank holiday and knowing exactly when they are. Yeah. And then and you the moment you leave school, it's just gone. It's just gone. Yeah. Because, you know. It was all right when the boys were at school, but as soon as they left school, it was like, yeah. Luckily yeah. now the neighbours got two youngsters, so, yeah, I can tell by yeah. hearing them in the mornings that it's a school day and, yeah. I had to go to the recycling centre today and uh, it just happened that it was like rush hour time. And I was like, oh, God. Uh, uh, I, was, yeah. I wasn't doing it at rush hour. And, of course, there was no traffic because it's bank holiday. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right, then. Yeah, let's start dropping stuff, Cole. See how it works. Well, that was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Right, so we've got that one. Let's pop that in there. That's a set of speakers. That goes in there. Like so. Might as well get both sets of these together and I'll be laughing then because... Yeah, your set's out. Yeah. Right, why did I get this flesh colour out again? What was that for? No idea, dude. I got rat skin flesh out to do something and the thing I wanted to paint with it was... Yeah. Oh, man, I've... Because I thought, oh, I need to touch that bit up and then I totally forgot what was... Now don't get arrested, <sighs> mate. Mm. It's like going off up the stairs and then forgetting why you're going upstairs. Oh, I do that all the time. Yeah, am I going? Am I halfway up or halfway down? I can't remember. Damn it! Oh, that's what I was going to do. H did that early. She just stood right next to me, chair in the lounge. She said, "You're right, love." She said, "I was going to do something, and I can't remember what it was." Yes. <laughs> I said, "Well, I've done nothing wrong, so it wasn't telling me off." Hmm. Apparently, I was reading, a, oh, I was listening to a conversation on a podcast, um, and some neurologists actually did a study into different form, you know, like memory and stuff like that. Yes. And one of the things they studied were, was, why do we do that thing when you walk into a room and you forget what you walked into the room for? Yeah. Is it just age or is there a reason for it? Yeah. And they found out that the way the human brain works is that when you walk into a room, because it's a new room, we're conditioned that, you know, a room, go through, you, you, basically when you go through a door, your brain is conditioned that there's a different environment in this room to the last one. Oh, and it, right, kind of, yeah. it kind of resets a lot of things to be prepared for whatever might be in this room that wasn't in the last one. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's like, it goes back to ancestral things. If you're in caves or tunnels and you didn't know what was around the corner, you go through a hole. So it's like, your brain does a kind of reset when you, whenever you go through a door. Yeah. Which sounds really oddly specific, but apparently this is the way it is. It's whenever you go through to a new environment. Makes your sense. Your brain reset. Yeah. And that's why you sometimes forget, because the reason you went into the room just gets dumped in anticipation of there being a monster or something. Yeah. Huh. And something it's interesting just... on this show every week, folks. Yeah. So it's not just oldness or feebleness, although in my case it's absolutely oldness and feebleness. <laughs> You're only young. I know. Not old. You're only 50, what? 52, is it? Uh, 53, I think, this year. Yeah. You're not as old as PJ. I mean, PJ's 111, 12. Mate. Well, yeah, I'm not that old. Come on, now. Nobody's that you old. Know, even, even Gandalf the Grey ain't that old. Even PJ's not that old. And he's that old. Yeah, no, PJ's that old that his slippers are haunted. PJ's that old that numbers were in black and white in those days. He writes his name in Latin. Yeah. You should see him go on a clay tablet in QA form. It's just like a monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's now calling us both all the names you can tell, yeah. mate. You can tell. I'm not saying he's old, but he has a first edition copy of the Epic of Gilgamesh. <laughs> and I mean, you know, like 3,000 years old. You don't realise, uh, though, he's, he's, oh. he's, he's got ears like an SS rat. Yeah. I and see he's going to remember all like of painting. this, mate. Yeah. Yeah, we know that. 
But the thing is, we don't necessarily have to do anything to get that kind of feedback because he's going to do that anyway. Yeah, it'll you know it'll get me back. Yeah, the mockage will come whether we do anything to deserve it or not. So. Yeah, I know it wouldn't have him any other way. I know we may as well stock up on ammunition now. Absolutely, <laughs> everyone's saying good night to Marcus, which is lovely. Good night, Marcus. plus Marcus is plus. Lovely. What else are you supposed to do with someone who's older than you, other than mock their age? Exactly. I can't mock someone who's younger than me, can I? I don't know. We mock James. But then that's contractual age. obligation, see? That's just because it's James and deserves it. But, yeah, you know, I mean, in, in terms of age, we can't mock oh, James. Oh, that's cheating. Age. What? Picking on James. That's cheating. Picking on James. It's You say it's contractual. <laughs> But yeah, we can't we can't mock James for his age though, can we? Because he's not he's only thirteen, so yeah, Adrian Mole, wasn't it? But ain't three quarters. Well yeah. <gasps> fall in love with Pandora. Now I'd forgotten the girl's name was Pandora. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I didn't get out more. Yeah. Recent read list, was it? No, no, it's just i I was called James Adrian Mole. Yeah. There's an irrelevant personal memory there. That makes sense. I've got no idea why I remember it, because it wasn't a show that I really watched, to be honest with you. But obviously you're there for a reason. Right, so yeah. done two sides of that. So happy days. Let's get the other side back. The aim is, is to have both sets of these ready... Uh, finesse and finagle. I've got to make a load of... Uh, Bolt heads with my um, RP tools bolt head thing, so I'll do that during the week. It's actually quite to make some... therapeutic. Do you need me to make you some hexagons? Have I got hexagons? You've got, no, you've you've got, got hexagons. rivets, I've got hexagons. That's, That's it. Do yeah. you need me to make some rivety rivets for yeah, you? Yeah, can do, mate, and I'll do you a pot full of hexagons if you want. Yeah. I'll send it down to you in about 18 months. Yeah, you said that eight, eight months ago. So. <laughs> I'm on schedule. Woohoo! Yeah. I just realised I've got to be tax returned this week. Ooh. And there's still a grive quicker than one of your paint. Oops. Another tax return? You ain't long done one. What's up with you? I've got, to, I've got to do it right away now, haven't I? The DWP's benefit. So, yeah. like, tax year and tax year finishes on the 6th, on the 5th. So it's like, oh, I better have it done ready just in case. Oh, he's not grey. He's not that colour at all. Uh, he is. He is. Uh, yeah, but you're way under good. the threshold, so... I oh, know, but I still, I still just have to do a tax return. I'm employed, so... <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yeah, but you're not the only one in the world that does this for a business, dear. No, I know, but we have to do it to get me carers allowed. Yeah. Because they'll just turn it off without warning me again. <laughs> that was fun. I don't have to do a tax return for a bit, because I could earn up to 16 grand a year. Mm. Just don't get universal credit because Helen works. So. No. I'll get nothing else. So. No. They're more than happy. Yeah. But they said you don't exist. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I, have to, I just have to do one so they see what I earn. I mean, I'll have to send them the figures anyway, so I might as well do a tax return while I've, I've got all the information there. It's like. That's pay having a son who's an accountant as well. So. Well, yeah, that is kind of handy. If I ever earn enough to need an accountant, I know I'll be getting accountancy services from Yeah. Me. Little ratty boy. All right. We shall so not we give you that. any fur. You can have... You've got... That. You can have covered up this. Okay, let's just check and compare that side just to make sure I'm putting that on at the correct angle of the dangle. Angle of the dangle. Which is going to be like so. There you go. Oh, I've already marked it up anyway. I did me little lines, didn't I? Have you just surprised yourself with uh, previous preparation? Yeah, I did me marker, you know, me uh, guidelines. I love when that happens, when you forget you've already sorted something out. Yeah, but it's always worth checking and double checking, isn't it? Measure twice, oh, yeah. cut once. But it is nice when you do that. You think, oh, I've got to do this. Oh, I've already done it. I did it before. Oh, okay, that's all right. Then. All right, let's... I do like surprising myself like that. 
So I can weld a corner in. Twitch is bad today. So annoying. Yeah. At least you're not painting little tiny details or anything there. No, it's just frustrating when you're trying to grip something. Yeah. It passes. And put your fingers on the hot iron coal. That would be an ideal thing not to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. I just want to tack that corner. I can then do the same that side. I dreamt last night that there was a donkey in my garden. Really? Well it, was a, well, it was a small mule, not quite a donkey, and there was a man chasing it to try and catch it. Is that because you're an ass? <laughs> so I did. <clears throat> I'll move on. It's not laughing, folks. Anyway. Am I getting that? You're looking down your nose at me. I can tell I'm you looking are. Down my I'm looking down my nose at a small rat, dude. Yeah. Yes, anyway, this is like a small donkey in the garden, and this man was chasing it. And it yeah. ran down the end of the garden, and the man chasing it fell into the pond. Oh. And then the donkey ran up to the French window and was looking at me, and then I woke up. Yeah. Aww. And then I thought, why was I dreaming about there being a donkey in the garden? What? It was a little bit confusing. Yeah. That's just the things I could dream about. So that's going that way. Okay, so we're right. happy with that. Back to grey. Finish off all the seam welding in a moment. I just want to mm -hmm. make sure. Uh, where are we doing? Uh, Edward Leonard says, Happy Easter to Jeff. There you go. So they're going on there. Then that's Jason and the Argonauts was made in 1963, says Jeff. Oh, wow. I guess it took a long time to... Go away, little menu thing. I guess it took a long time to go on to terrestrial TV in the UK. Yeah. Uh, oops, I jumped. Let's have a look. Right. Ba -la -la -la. Have a bit of that, Mary Poppins. That sounds like it would have improved the <laughs> film, but giving it an 18 certificate says uh, Peaches. <laughs> yeah. yeah. LWM yeah. says, LWM asks, is it too geeky to have spent all afternoon putting together a searchable paint manufacturer's comparison database? No. No. I did a database for all the made-up language speak phrases and words in Far Cry Primal. Yeah. So no, because I've been online and downloaded all the paint charts for different <laughs> manufacturers, and I've started a big spreadsheet. So mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that at all. Sounds perfectly good to me. I'm trying to stick to one type of paint as I'm running out of room, so I don't want twenty shelves of paint. Even if you stick to one type of paint, we will have twenty shelves of paint. Uh, yeah. PJ Lewis says, I get where you're coming from. I have a space issue too. I don't have any. <laughs> yeah. Believe me, folks, he doesn't. Nope. Uh, Marcus has put a link up for his stream. Brilliant. I hope to see you there, he says. Yeah, no worries, mate. Many, 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 many more. I am a visit tomorrow, folks. Always nice. Uh, LWM says it's a glitch because we're in a simulation. We can't see what we can't see hasn't rendered in yet. Ah, so there's object culling, is what you say. Yeah. In real life. Uh, Jeff says he's all good here. I'm drawing a fantastically rare three day weekend all to myself. Normally I work even on normal weekends. Ah, oh, that's good, mate. Have yourself a nice break, Jeff. You could have uh, done with it, mate. You've earned it. Yep. PJ says, oh, you're enough with the ageism, you, you, you. <laughs> <laughs> Say, I told you, it'll get me back. Oh, yeah. He will, I can assure you, folks. Mm -hmm. uh, PJ puts a link up for the Friday Night Live show. Next well, Friday. That's, uh, that's next Friday, PJ, yeah. For, oh, of course, yeah, it's the first week of the month, isn't it, mate? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Max has gone to bed. He says, I'm heading off absolutely tired. It's been a nice hanging out. Have a great stream. Happy days, care, mate. Max. Nice to see you in, mate. Mm. Mind you, he paints like about 100 things every week, so I'm not surprised he's tired. Yeah, bless him. He worked late as well, bless him, sir. Yeah. Right, so we got that, we got that. Fox is dreaming of chasing ass. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> uh... <laughs> Fox is dreaming of a small ass. So many jokes, so little time, says PJ. 
Yes. <laughs> it's very strange. <laughs> it was more the fact the guy chasing it just fell into the pond and I was just stood there laughing at him. <laughs> <laughs> That's even better. It's the ones that trip up a pavement and then they're looking around to see if anyone's spotted them. Yep. Or they bump into a lamppost or something. Oh, yeah. You hear that wonderful resounding ding ring out, don't you? And it's like, yeah. Yep. Or the thing where they walk into the glass door in a shop. Oh, like Garfield, they kind of didn't they? Yeah, and then they kind of walk away quickly, like as if they weren't intending to go in that shop anyway. Yeah. I don't want to go in there anyway. It's the wrong shop. Oh, yeah. Sounds <laughs> good. It's like when when you first get ice on the ground, isn't it, in winter, and you see that one person, arms rotating at great speed, trying to stop <laughs> themselves falling down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Full-blown Michael Flatley's, and then they go thud. It's like, yeah, that went well for you. Right, you know, it was inevitable. You should have just given into it. It was always going to end this way, my child. I did it. And you know the first thing Helen done? Let go of my hand. Seems reasonable. She said, I didn't see the point in us both falling down, love. Cheers, yeah. love. She went, ah, self-preservation, dear. Yeah. When one has fallen off a cliff, you don't both need to fall off the cliff. And she come out with that phrase, carer's privilege. <laughs> no, I like that. I'm going to have to remember that. Yeah. Carer's privilege. Where did that come from? I suppose you could say, well, if I go down with you, then I can't call for help because I'm down with you, so I need to stay up so I can call for help. Exactly. And I think it also came from her imagination, but I'm stealing it. Mm -hmm. Uh. Right. Got... Not weld that one on yet. Because I'm going to put that on before I forget. We've got the speaker module going. Speaker module! Where are, where I like I the word that? module. It's a good word. Yeah, there's it is somewhere. Module. Unst, unst. I heard that. I heard nothing. I heard it. Big boy did it and ran away. All the people watching heard it. Here you go. Hi, Liddy, Biddy, 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 Biddy. That's the key. You can't. can't really work. hate to let go of Colin's hand to get the camera out. There is that. Yeah, there's that. that could also be, yeah. yeah, that's the other. That's the other possibility. <laughs> By possibility, I mean certainty. Oh, that's actually not far from the from the thing because last time I fell over, she's like, "Why do you always fall over when I've just put my phone away?" Yeah, can you help me up? Yeah, give me a minute. I'm just posting to Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, etc., etc. Yeah, but it's a bit like that time when I got stuck under the cupboard, didn't it, and fell through my door. My so-called mates. Yeah, we all ran to your help straight away. Of course you did. To be to be fair though. There's absolutely nothing we could do to help you, so we may as well just make the most of it and laugh. Yeah, there is that. I would have done the same to you, so Exactly, yeah. I mean if you could if we could have helped in any way, we would have done eventually. <laughs> but there's nothing we could have done, so there's no point not actually making the most of it, really. Like you say, you do exactly the same. Oh, absolutely. You know I would. Mm-hmm. Oh, you would. We know you would. Definitely, mate. Absolutely. A bit more around there. Painting tiny hairs. How's that going for you? Quite relaxing. Although I know that I'm, I'm trying to paint all these like transitions mm. from skin to hair but there's really no point because the moment i put a wash on it all that transition yeah. the, the browns and the skin colors aren't that different yet <laughs> yeah so it's really kind of wasted in a lot of ways oh yeah and it's choosing 
like work how to paint the faces because on the box art a lot of them have actually got fully fur faces yeah yeah but then a lot of other times you see them and they've got like mostly bald faces with tufts of hair and it's like if I, if I can be fussed yeah the, what choice could you go with face. yeah yeah i don't know if i want to paint the whole face because some of the some of the color gradations are like i, I can't do that no. so i think i'll just stick to mostly skin stick to what you know dear mm-hmm And that's the other thing. Everybody, whenever you watch like tutorials and stuff, they're always like painting the faces if it's mostly skin. And it's like, but it's kind of a rat, and rats have furry faces. Then I started thinking about it. And then I thought to myself, don't think, just do. Don't overthink. It's the worst thing you do, <laughs> yeah. mate. Because that's the worst thing I do, and it'll just like be there all week. Oh yeah, you it overthink it, and then you're like, yeah, you lost yourself. Then it's like, yeah, like, it's a six foot tall rat. There's nothing to really think about, really. Exactly. Super match game. Super match game. All right. There you go. So some of them have got slightly more furry faces. Some of them have got mostly just skin. I'm wrong with a furry face, mate. Dangerous territory there. I'm going to step away. Why is that? I don't know. I'm just sure there's some way you could get in trouble by saying that. <laughs> um, I can't get in trouble. She's asleep, mate. Good job mind she you. can't watch this back at a different time, though, isn't it? Yeah, mind you, since when's that prevented me from getting in trouble? Yeah. Yeah. Good job you're not doing this live on the internet or anything. Exactly that, mate. <laughs> well, Over there's a the fester. There's a way. Exactly. <laughs> Even if I try not to get in trouble, I fail miserably. So, yep. My job still your in desk. the good books. Oh, really? Yeah. Don't, don't sound too this. positive, will you? Well, it's it's not it's not it's a good thing. It's just it's also kind of scary. Why? I don't know because there's. Just means that when you do stop being in the good books, it's going to be really bad. Yeah, there is that, isn't there? And and also, this is you were talking about. You still being in the good books is like it, it just doesn't compute. Yeah, we just know at some point there is going to be one end of a big epic fail, isn't there? Yeah, it's going to happen because somewhere this there's is a my... shoe waiting to drop, and it's a really big shoe. Is she keeping me on side because she's got her hand operation coming up? Yeah, or is she after something? Not that she'd have to keep you on side to be after something because you wouldn't have a choice anyway. No, because she would just tell me anyway, mate. Uh, PJ Lewis is putting a £7.89 super chat that he said, but uh, I usually drop you a tenner, but you mentioned that toy thing again, and you mock my age, just saying. <laughs> 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 like that, is it? Uh, Jeff was putting a $10 super chat. He says, behold, electricery. Exactly, Ooh. mate. Exactly. So I've been, I've been punished by pay. I told you he'd get me back. Oh, yeah. That's all right. I don't mind. Oh, cry. No. He'll, just, he'll just have one less meal that week. She is anyway, mate. You know that. But, uh, yeah. Joke. Yeah. God, you wait till he says we're going to do with a bus. <laughs> the bus. I oh, know. I'm going to have the art to tell him now. Yeah, don't tell him about the bus. No. I can hear a muscle twitching somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the post-it, Cole. <laughs> All right, so we've got those to go on. We've got the side bits to make. Not fussed about that. That's all garnish. Got a bit of infill to go in there. So let's get that in there. Infill. Thank you anyway. It's massively appreciated, Peach. You know mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Is 
This is completely different. I'm just painting this guy and realise it's a completely different colour of grey. That's not good. Is he 50 shades Speed. of grey? So what did. Yeah, I'm painting him with Skaven, uh, with thingy fur, but he's actually not that colour. He's painted with a different fur. Oh, never mind. Suppose Skaven Blight Dinge. <laughs> I think he was actually painted with Skaven Blight Dinge, but yeah. I'm doing him with Storm Vermin fur. Oh, well, maybe he's a bit piebald. I yeah. like that word. Piebald. Yeah, that's that's a foxism, is if ever I've heard one. Yeah, it's an oldy worldy word that. Yeah, let's just mash that in there for now, because I've got my strips to go on there yet. Yeah. That one's there, that's a strip fill. That's a strip fill, not worried about that. <laughs> what we could do is we could put a piece of so-and-so in there just to give it a little bit of filler underneath, like so. Oops, excuse me. Because you know what's going to happen, see? I'm going to have this built in primed, and then I'm going to sit and look at the next box on the shelf that was next to it, which is squig off. Um, Ooh, yeah, I, that's that's going to end up popping out and uh, getting built and primed. I've got a few more little bits I want to do for the howdy yet. Must spend a bit is, more time on Tinkercad doing them. Every time he thinks about the squig off, he goes, "Oh, I could do this," and then he thinks about the squig ridge, and it goes back in the box, and he goes back. He goes back downstairs. Yeah, I do have nightmares about that squig ridge. He just kind of he puts it back in the box and slowly walks away. <laughs> I'm being a coward, Edward. That's what I'm being, mate. He stands there going, I have seen the error of my ways. <laughs> yeah, it's all right for Edward. He's sitting there going, I've done mine. Man up, big boy. I know oh, what he's yeah. thinking. That's that building do, for do, 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 do. I know about the bus, but now my right eye is twitching. I guess that's PJ. Uh, yes, yes. I was contemplating ideas for it the other day, and yeah. And it's funny, when I had these ideas, the first thing I imagined was you twitching, mate. I was like, see, yeah. I don't, see, even I don't know what the plan is yet for the bus. I don't so, want, to, want to be surprised. So, yeah, I had an epiphany moment. And Did you clean it up? Yeah, the first thing I thought of was, poor old PJ, he's got to be twitching like a nana, mate. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that confirmed it. Yeah, it did. Bless him. That'll be one frolic that he won't be tuning into, no doubt. <laughs> be the bigger man, PJ. <laughs> It'll be heartbroken when it turns up on his doorstep, then. <laughs> I couldn't be that cruel. Yeah, you could. I couldn't. Because I know exactly that it would be thrown in the bin, so I'm not going to waste the model. No. But you could still be that cruel. Yeah, but I'm not going to waste the model, mate. No, I know. Right. We've got all of that on there. Let's just double check. I both wired, yeah. Give them a rest, yeah. They'll run parallel, so we've then got... By power of deduction, that on there. You're doing electrical stuff, aren't you? And that on there. I'm just still welding. I've wired it all up. They're all wired. All right. It's beyond but my comprehension. I just want to make sure they match. Damn, this is wired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, good old. You could put that on the back of my car, and I'd be like a DeLorean. Yeah, but uh, hey, it's fun. It's different. I meant to ask you because it's hard to tell when it's just a naked three D print. But I'm taking the cab of that thing is a bit like a, a high Mars, um, uh, or yes. like a, a Scud type truck thing. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So if all yeah, all the exhaust pipe and everything, and yeah. yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I was just looking much. at it thinking that's kind of what it looks like, but you can never really tell when it's a, a naked three D print. Oh uh, yeah, once it's been primed and had a bit of. Differentiation on colour. Yeah. <gasps> big word of the day. Did you just say you just say big words, didn't you? I did, yeah, because you Good know lad. believe it or not, mate, I did go to school. I know. I know. I know that shocks you, dear. Doesn't shock me. But uh, yeah. 
Right. Let's get a weld in there. Apologies, I'm off shot. I just need to be able to see what I'm doing. He likes to weld it, weld it. Because this one's right on the edge, and I know full well I'm going to melt my fingers. So I just want to... Don't melt your fingers, Cole. Have a uh, big magnifier on it so I can see that I'm actually melting Apologies plastic, I... not my skin. Apologies if I knock the microphone to get my knife. Uh, Edward Leonard says, WIDGE in big capital letters. You're wicked, Edward, but yeah. It's funny because I had a dream that I was painting <laughs> oh, no. a squig off. And you know the Jaws music? That's what woke mm -hmm. me up because the Jaws music went and there was witch shot. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. See? It's bad, isn't it? So you're dreaming about a squig widge, are you? Is what yeah. you're saying. I know. Cool. Th things I shouldn't have admitted, eh? I always said you're a very open minded chap. Well, you know, I was never confused. <laughs> yes. Right. Squig Ridge. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually looking forward to doing it. I just like I say, I've got half the hair I've done, and I've just got the rest of it in Tinker Cad. And been that I was in there the other night because someone convinced me to do the uh, doof wagon today on the frolic mm -hmm. of Max. I kind of came across the Howder one as well, so I've been in and loaded the file up ready for me to have a bit of how to design this week whilst I'm having a bit of time off. I know I haven't been back long, but my schedule is now to give myself a week off each month just to... Yeah. Your schedule is whatever you want your schedule to be. Dude. I know, but... Oh. Right. So we've got a tack weld on a couple of bits of that. So let's now do the same on that one. Dee 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 dee. Oh, Try and get that dunk. in situ. Boom, 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 boom. I love the sound of the plastic bit sliding because it gives me flashbacks to building my big um, USS Reliant. Oh, right. Which, yeah. was like, which was enormous and it had like big hollow parts and it had that kind of slidey plastic sound. It's quite a comforting sound. It is. Terrible kit. But Not it's as the best bad shit. as this then. <laughs> hey, no, no. Don't rely on it. it's a terrible kit. The old one. The big one. Yeah, I mean, with this, uh, it's one of them boxes that I've been moving backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, and it's like, every time I come across this, like, I must build that, I must build it. Yeah. Well, and this sits, this sorted. Yeah, this sits on the same shelf as the box that's got the house Moving Castle in it. Mm. Uh, and the squig off, and it's like, all three of them on the shelf there, and it's like, I must build these and get them primed so that I can get them to talk to me and do the paint job. So hmm. That's what I'm up to. That's what I was saying to you before we came on air about having the shelf of preparation. Yeah. Just to make it easier for me, because if I'm not in a buildy situation, I can just spin round and grab something off the shelf and sit and paint it. So. Yeah. Spinny, spinny. Yeah, so... I listen to people that give me advice. Yay. Except you. Hi. Ah, oh, little bits of you just died there, didn't I? I have to sell uh, that. No. Oh, come on. Come on. No. <laughs> I, I, was, I was actually mulling on how I could make an amusing comment of the fact that a 56-year-old bloke has just said he's got a Howl's moving castle on the shelf, which sounds awesome. Oh, mate, yeah. Because people think of us at our age as all fuddy duds. Like, no. No, it's got to be lit as well. It's got to be lit, in it? Come on, you yeah. can't, can't build Owl's Moving Castle and not light it. I've never actually watched it, yeah. the anime. Okay. I don't think I've actually ever watched... Have I ever watched any Studio Ghibli stuff? I've watched Nausicaa, the, the Nausicaa one, where she's on the flying wing thing. Oh, right, I didn't yeah. Quite, didn't quite get that. That was a long time ago. Um, but I've never watched how, any of the, of the Studio Ghibli stuff. Yeah. Probably should at some point. Yeah, it's got to be done, mate. I just found it an interesting little thing and just thought, yeah, I'll build one of them. So, again, it's going to be another one of those long and narrow things, isn't it? I can see <laughs> it. It is, it is the Festa way, and you love it. And you yeah. Know it. So, 
Yeah, it's got to be done. That's just something of interest in it. Yeah. There's no point not remaining true to your nature. Yeah, something different about doing it. And yeah, why not? All right, that's got a bit more strength to it now. Even though I know I've got strips going all the way around this, I still want to get a little bit of strength in the joint. Unst, unst. A little bit of... Chicka, 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 chicka. Very tuneful there, dear. Yeah. Now I want toast. What, a little bit of toast? A little bit of toast. Chicka, chicka. I like peas. Peas are I like peas. Yeah, I like peas. Peas are green. Mm. We're so <laughs> we're so going to hell, aren't we? Yes. Pretty much. Are we bothered though? No. Nope. Same here, mate. Uh, I would never throw anything that you had built, Colin. That would be sacrilege in my mind, and that includes the blue bus, bluey bus thingy. Oh, bless you. I know, but I respect your choice, mate. I'm good like that. He'll just send you the bluey car instead. <laughs> no, he won't. No, that's going to its owner. Yeah, that's that's got a buyer for that. Yeah, that's sold, that is. Just going to finish the base, and then it'll be getting shipped. Yeah. Good night, Vienna. ka -ching. Done. There you go. Thank you very much. It's just the, the... I still pinch myself because it was done as a goof, wasn't it? And, mm -hmm. you know, it's like... It, it's sold. <laughs> it's just blown me away, that. So... Yeah. Yeah. I feel incredibly <coughs> humbled. Art, dear boy. I know, but you know me. I've never sold a kit. So, I know to have someone want to buy something that I've built, I find <laughs> immensely flattering, if I'm honest. Yes, right. So, we've done that, we've done that, we've got to cut some strips now. Jing, have some of that, have some of that, cut him a strip. Yeah, that's a very long, narrow lorry there, Carl. You've built. Yeah. How did I know that this was going to end up as a really well, long, narrow bit? Seeing as you used to make, like, motorbikes and trikes, which are long and narrow. <gasps> yes, it's, it's in me, innit? I think it's. I think this is where it's come from. Yeah. All right, let's cut. Let's cut some strips. Various thicknesses. Don't need that. This is Fester. To Fester, everything is a trike. <laughs> I can't do jaws. You need a bigger shelf. Yeah. That's what I did there. I did, my. Impressed with that, weren't you? I was, actually, yeah. It was on topic. It was, actually, for you. That was yep. pretty, pretty, pretty damn good. good. Oops. Apologies if that's too noisy. I can mute. Can't hear it. What are you doing? <gasps> you've got the big. Oh, you've got the big new duties out. Yeah, I've got jaws. Awesome jawsness of jaws of awesomeness. Oh yeah, it's a good good little gadget actually, especially oh, yeah. for this, especially for what I'm trying to do with the Orky vehicle. Mm -hmm. I'm not being too specific with it as well because it's Orc. But yeah, there is there is a build. measuring gauge on the side that where you can be really specific with it. You're like, nah, it's all kidding. It's all ain't, ain't, ain't doing no measuring around there, no nothing on either. There you go. One just flew over the back there, I'm sure it did. There it is. There you go. I had a I had a der moment today. All oh, right. Why is that? Uh before I got my current gaming chair. Yeah. I had an office chair that I've had for about twenty years. That I kind of, sort of, slightly stole from my last one of my previous employers. They're really silly, but they knew I'd taken it. But I just yeah. have that chair. Yeah, okay. Um, mm. And it's been sat downstairs, uh, taking up space in the living room because I've been meaning to take it to the tip. Yeah. But of course, 
it's a big office chair and you can't just stick it in the back of my car. I'd have to take it apart. And I'm like, I can't be bothered. Yeah. So it's just sat there getting in the way. And I was taking some stuff to the tip today. And I'm like, hang on a minute. Why don't I just put it at the end of the driveway? Yeah. Because then the magical fa- el- uh, fairies will take it away. Because if around here, if you leave something at the end of the driveway, it just disappears. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah, I've put fridges out there, microwaves, all knackered things, and they just disappear. Though, the next day, it's gone. So I put it. I was like, I've been sitting here for months trying to figure out what to do. I could just dump it on the driveway, and somebody will take it away. Oh yeah, so it was something that they'll take. Yeah, you'll think it's got no value whatsoever, mate. Someone somewhere. Yeah. We'll oof it, mate. Well, we have the scrap metal car at the van that comes around every once every couple of weeks or randomly, yeah. and they just, like, pick stuff up. But if, if they don't, somebody else will. Yeah. We have our be the bone men. Yeah. We used to have a ragged bone man when I was a kid. Yeah. Long gone round here, though, that. Yeah. We do say to Albert, oh, God, God, just say it, God, we're a rag bone. He's like, I'm not a rag and bone man. I am a scrap metal merchant. <laughs> I said, oh, is that what it's called now? Has he got a horse and cart? Uh, no, he's got a flatbed transit, which is just ain't the <laughs> it's same, not the is same. it? It's, it's not the same, no. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's got the cage on it, you know, and it's like, yeah. yeah. I'm not a rag and bone man. I'm an entrepreneur. Yeah, a scrap metal merchant. It's like, yeah, you're a rag and bone man, mate. Oh, so I've got an old boiler you could take. He said, she is. Yeah. I went, no, actually, there is an old boiler you could take. Damn it, he went. I went, yeah, I'm, t- I'm telling her. I'm telling her. Mm. <laughs> hey, British, uh, uh, we had the uh, British gas run a couple of weeks ago, and they replaced a radiator. Yeah. And um, he put the old one on the driveway, and he says, right, I've, I've called whoever it is. I've called Biff, and they'll come and pick that up tomorrow. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, that's good. Yeah, Let's happy days. Yeah. So, did you, when you used to have a horse and cart, Rag and Bone Man, what did you shout? You're all Rag Bone. That's quite complicated. Yeah. Because yeah. ours was just, oh. Yeah. It just, oh. It just oh, became a noise. I thought you wanted the specific words that he was saying. Oh, yeah, well, yeah. Oh, no, ours didn't. Ours just used to go, oh. Yeah. Every, every Sunday, you'd hear yeah. Rag and bone men, happy days. Yeah. Every town should have a rag and bone men. Bring back the rag and bone men. Oh. You'd hear him from miles away and you just get loud. I'd be there lying in bed, like, debating whether to get up and I'd be, Hell. Milkmen seem to be a thing round here now that have just returned. We're getting milkmen turning up. Really? Yeah, it didn't, didn't, wasn't a thing for donkey's years, milkmen. And then all of a yeah, sudden, no, they're knocking on the door, you know, didn't want a milkman, it's like, blimey. Thought you'd gone the way of the dodo, mate. I haven't seen a milkman in uh, yeah. a donkey's age. Yeah, becoming a thing again. Nature's like, yeah, you've seen these prices. <laughs> yeah. He's so, yeah, probably selling ropey DVDs as well. <laughs> Mine's just not DVDs anymore, is it? No. You know you're old, right, when... You joke about like the milkman or the or the guy that does coffee at your office yeah. selling ropey DVDs, and yet DVDs have already stopped being a thing. And it's like, oh man, I'm really I'm that old. Uh, yeah, DVDs I are already still the remember old people's. All of that on tomorrow as well. This is replacing vinyl and turntables, and I'm yeah. still sitting here playing LPs on the turntable. Yeah. And where are all the optical media now? It's all gone, isn't it? Yeah. It's not been what used. Does, what does the guy in the burger van or the ice cream van sell now if you can't sell ropey DVDs? It's not VHS. <laughs> yeah. What do they sell? Uh, well, what people. do you buy your what do you buy your knockoff movies on? Yeah. Uh, honestly don't know, mate. But... Your slightly ropey copies of camcorder in the cinema movies. Probably probably an old USB stick, perhaps. Who knows? Yeah, it could be. I honestly don't know because, you know, a lot yeah. of people used to download illegal movies, didn't they? But that's no longer a thing because now everything is streaming. So yeah. you don't need it, do you? It's a no. gone thing, isn't it? You just do right, your streaming you? service, box your uncle. Used to have a job where there'd be a guy outside every lunchtime in his little sort of butty wagon with selling cottage. 
Uh, yes. Yeah, he, sold the, he sold the best coffee in the world. We used to call it, he was called Dave, and we used to call him Dave Bruce. The yeah. best coffee in the world, right? But he also sold <laughs> dodgy DVDs. That <laughs> one sold pretty much every Ron Jeremy movie you could imagine, mate. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, it was categorised on the shelf on these things. It's like, really? <laughs> yeah, our, our guy had a little list. He said, yeah, you're yeah. on the list. Yeah, go on, let's have a look. He'd, he'd bring it out yeah. from under a counter. I know I asked for a sausage roll, mate, but I didn't want Ron Jeremy's. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like, really? Well, apparently, what? our guy used to also run like a server farm because he used to occasionally have to go abroad to fix it. Yeah. So he wasn't just, so why are you doing this with the butty whack? And he went, it's my money, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the day. friend of mine, he, he gave up his job, went out and bought one of these lay-by burger van type box things, you know, and that's what he does. He said he makes an absolute mint. Yeah. You know, one of these lay-bys obviously pays for the pitch, but yeah. it's, it's a license to print money, mate. I suppose it's not exactly a tough job, is it, making burgers and stuff? I wouldn't Pretty want to boring, do it. I can but... imagine it's quite thankless when you get the drunken hordes on a Friday and a Saturday night. But yeah, I suppose if well, I suppose if you're like a motorway, like yeah, a but... motorway stop, truck stop, then I'd yeah, be like... you know, if you're on the three hundred three or whatever, I can imagine yeah. you know the lay-by ones are really lucrative. You know, but not but... in town. Oh god, no, you get all the drunks. <laughs> yeah, we got one about five hundred meters up the street. There, he's been there donkeys years, but he does yeah. like a complete English breakfast in a back roll of a molding, cool. you know, and. He makes an absolute mint doing it, and it's beautiful yeah. food, it really is. You know, he takes, you know, it's, he's not a greasy spoon, put it that he way. He takes great pride, yeah. Yeah, he pride does take this. a lot of pride in it, and I think that's why he's got such a base, because all the lorry drivers at the Parcel Falls Depot, they all have the brekkie there, like, and it's yeah. a right on an industrial state, but also a main car dealership. So he gets all the car dealers lorries that I'll bring all the new vehicles in. He gets all of them stopped in there. That's the trick, isn't it? You've got to get... If you get exactly the right pitch... Yeah. Then you're, you're done, you're set, because that's oh, what yeah. everybody goes... It's just across everybody... from the fire station as well, so, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Because if most people have got a choice of wilted butties in their canteen or the burger van across the road, they don't yeah. the burger van. Yeah, no, the firemen love it, because, yeah, they just stop in there and... You're sending me emails now. What are you, you know, me about? He, he does really well, and it's a fair play to the bloke. You know, he took the risk, he pumped about 25, 30 grand in to get all the gear. And then yeah, obviously the licence from the local authorities, because obviously you have to meet all of the local... Hygiene oh, stuff. Big chunk just fell off my tooth then. Um, he oh. has to meet the local uh, food regs laws or whatever they're called, you know. Yeah, so oh, hygiene stuff, yeah. You know, and he goes and has that done, or they turn up and do it, should I say, and he's never had an issue. And he he really does take it seriously, bless him, you know, and I think that's what well, people have recognised. Yeah. yeah no. That's the thing. I mean, you know, if, if he puts all the money in, you're going to make sure you do the good food. If you're going to be... Oh, yeah. Especially if he's got a good plot where he gets guaranteed business from all the trade around him, then yeah, he, he's got the luxury of being able to, you know, take a little time to make decent food. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it's something about a, a good old roadside calf like that, isn't it? It's just, oh, oh nectar. I mean, ideally, you want to be in just the place to catch either all the trucks, um, but not too close to a service station. Yeah. Or you want to get all the trade from an industrial estate. Uh, yeah, and that's where but he not... is. He's on the main industrial estate opposite the fire station. Yeah. You want to be like on the industrial estate, but far enough away from all the other places where they can go to get food because uh, yeah. the people you want are the ones that can't be bothered walking all the way down to the place. Oh, yeah. Like if it's, you know, half a mile to the nearest shop. Go oh, in the yeah. Middle, I mean, across the... the road from where his pitch is, you've got the main cinema ice rink complexes and all of that leisure park park. And that's got a Mackie D's and a KFC in it. And they'll be empty. And yet he's got a queue outside his, his thing, like, you know. So yeah, but you to know me, that says can, it all. Well, yeah, because you can spend, like, five quid and get a, a McD's burger, or you can spend five quid for him and get some big, massive, filthy thing. It's much yeah. Better. Oh, yes, yeah, all the things, mate. 
Right, let's have a look at the chat. Um, come to think of it, PJ, says Jeff, I don't think I've knowingly thrown out anything I've made either. It just seems wrong. I've thrown out some of my builds in the past that I, did, I that were very old. I'm like, yeah, that's crap. My original U-boat I threw out, smashed it to pieces. Really? Um, oh, lost some kits in a house move once, but that's it. In a fit of frustration with the Revel kit once, I launched it against the wall, but after calming down, I boxed it up so I could do it as a crushed aircraft. It's, uh, uh, peaches. There's a princess then. Peaches. Yeah, I had a load of builds at my mum's when I moved out, and she had a flood. So, yeah, pretty much she just cleared everything out and it all got dumped. So, we're, yeah. get, we're getting told off by Edward Leonard. He, the British slang's tripped him up. He said, It would be nice if you did scrap, man. I had to look that, that up last time you were talking about it. Oh, like, sorry, Edward. What? Yeah, apologies. <laughs> He says, bring out your dead. What's that man called? Cleaning up the dead man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mate. He's only joking. Yeah. We, we forget, uh, don't we, Fox? We do apologise. Yeah. Bless you. Uh, LWM says, I watched a series of Tomorrow's World Revisited where they go back to the very beginning and show how things evolved. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, PJ still buys physical media, 4K DVDs, etc. I can't remember the last time I bought a DVD. I do like a box set. Oh, well, yes, actually, I can. It was, yeah, it was Connections. You know, and I got it was James Burke's Connections. West Wing, uh, Band of Brothers, oh. The Wire. You know, so I do, I do like a box set, I must admit. Yeah, I bought... A couple of years ago, I bought James Burke's Connections on DVD. Yeah. But that's just so I have a decent quality copy because all the ones online are terrible. There's no official place to watch it online, so they're all really cruddy qualities. Yeah. I've got... And I bought Cosmos. Oh, Cosmos, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Before that, about 10 years before that, I bought I, Claudius and Elizabeth R. Yeah. Again, because until until I, Claudius went on the BBC iPlayer, there was nowhere good to watch it. Yeah. Um, and I've got the Stargate box set, but I've never actually watched that. Yeah, I well, do like that, a box set. So does H. She's, she's like me, you know. Yeah. If you see a, a nice box set, you think, yeah, I'll have that. Yeah. I think the thing I think the thing nowadays is that if you go back like five to ten years before all the streaming services, if you wanted to watch a series on the internet, yeah. It would be like some ropey dodgy website with a really low quality stream of it, streaming site. Uh, yeah. And there was no option to watch it anywhere decently, so you had to buy a DVD. Nowadays, uh, yeah. of course, everything's on a various streaming services, so the only stuff I've bought on DVD is stuff that you can't get online in decent quality. Like, nobody's got a decent print of Cosmos online. No, no. It should be on Disney Plus because they own the thingy, but it's a PBS. It's not the same because uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos is on there. Is it, it's part of Disney. Is it it's part licensing of the... then that's ref- not why it's not on, or is it just because it doesn't exist? No, it's, it's. I think the thing with like Neil deGrasse Tyson's Cosmos is, uh, is I think, was history channel which is oh discovery channel yeah which is owned by disney anyway yes but the original series was pbs oh, so pbs america yeah yeah so they've got the rights to it disney obviously doesn't own that no so no. They, so they haven't got the rights to show it basically they could they could buy it but yeah but it was a pbs service and i, I guess andrean who looks after his estate hasn't uh, it's more happy to sell DVDs, I suppose. Yeah. Which is a shame, because I'd love to watch it on the streaming service. Yeah, because something like that needs to be widely seen, doesn't it? Yep. Because there's going to be people out there, heresy alert, that don't know who he is. Everybody must watch Cosmos at least once. You know, because is it a Gen X thing? You know, we all know Carl Sagan, don't we? And... Mm. I think for his legacy to continue, they need to perhaps embrace and, and get it out there because it will be lost otherwise. I think it. I think there'll always be a a, a group of the cognoscenti that you know the people of whatever generation that will get to know it because they're just into science and that kind of thing. Uh, yes, and you know people who follow, say Neil deGrasse Tyson and Bill Nye and people like that. They'll know about Carl Sagan because those people talk about him. Well, that's it. I mean, Cosmos. we all talk about Einstein, don't we, still? Uh, yeah. You know, Stephen Hawking, he won't be forgotten, so, you know. Yeah. 
So, the, the, but the, I think the general public knows people who he was. That's a shame. That's the shame. He's, he was the first really to do that. Him and the bloke that did um, Civilization, whose name I can't remember. Officer Clark? No. No, it was a, a foreign gentleman's name. I can't, Max something, I can't remember his name now. Civilization was one about like ancient history. Yeah, yeah. A uh, little guy with glasses. I can hear his voice in my head. Yeah, yeah. But him and then Arthur C. Clarke, uh, Cl um, Carl Sagan with Cosmos at that time. They were the first two proper Well, this was it, because you used to have Arthur C. Clarke on. You had Carl Sagan on the telly. You know, we grew up really quite spoilt with all these scientists and that, really, when you think about it. Mm. But they were all so relevant in their own field. That was the beauty of it. And yep. everything was covered. And, yeah, I miss all of that, to be honest with you. But Yeah. I try watching science programmes now, but majority of them are just so terrible. Yeah. Like, I, I can't watch stuff on Discovery or anything like or National Geographic, anything like that. Because they're just so poorly made. They gloss over, I think, a lot of important and relevant factual information about what they're showing you. They try well, to dumb just... it down almost. It's like, don't do that. Yeah, it's like, I, I like Horizon, BBC Horizon. Yeah. Um, but like, I try and watch some of like the, the American science programmes, and the majority of them are terrible. Yeah. They're just like... Ugh generic voiceover host and it's like just not interesting at all yeah and the annoying thing is you watch them and like every 10 minutes they recap because they've just had an advert break uh, yeah and it's like i've just seen this entire sequence like five minutes ago and you've just told me this is like thing. so they have to say it again. it's like but when you're watching it without adverts it's like this really doesn't yeah it's like really yeah i mean not that bbc or anything don't do terrible things they do bad stuff as well oh yeah you yeah, know it's but it's just frustrating, I think, because, you know, it's great television and it's, yeah, it needs mm. to be seen. It's one of them. Yeah. Is that us just being old fuddy-duddies? I don't know. Yeah. I think I think science programming does benefit from having its rock star hosts kind of thing. Yeah. Like, you know, you might get a, a, a program that's hosted by... Um, uh, Brian Cox. Yeah. Or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah he Morgan does his Freeman like, you know, universe programs and things like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're all right. But I think it's it's nice when you have a, a, a host that isn't just a generic voiceover guy because yeah. then they bring a certain cachet to it. Like, you know, Brian Cox is, is a good host of science yeah. programs because he, he brings a certain enthusiasm. That's the thing. They've got to be enthusiastic. Brian Blessed, now he would be a great science program host. Oh, yeah. Brian no, Blessed no. was mentioned, just saying. Yeah, he was. We have to mention Brian Blessed on all everybody, live streams. Everybody, it's everybody mark, it off. mark it off on your Festa's live stream bingo card. Yeah, it's contractually obligated. Mm-hmm. He's rung us both up. And he's just said, Oi, you, you haven't mentioned me yet. Sorry, mate. Right, but he said it very loud. We can't quite repeat the words he said. No, he, he was not impressed. He gave me one of his stern talking to's. Yeah, he used some words, you know, he makes up insults and they're just really funny. Yeah. was an advert that he was on the other day and nearly bricked it when it came on because I had the volume amped right up because the program <laughs> I was watching, the, it, the host was quite quiet. And then this yeah. advert came on with Brian Blessed. Mate, honestly, I think I might have popped an olive. It wasn't It wasn't the one with him in the old man's bathroom again, was it? Might have been that, but yeah. Scaring the old really guy was about to get loud. in the bath. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. <laughs> Morning, Vicar. What? Hey, hello. Yeah, I was like... Oh. I was like, you're right, was that a two? Right, bless it, just didn't right. Expect to, didn't, didn't expect to see that again so soon. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> right, so we've got a bit of that going on. Let's get a couple of them cut, and then that'll be that done. Uh, that'll be building me rockers then, why not? Instant, instant. 
But it's like, you know, if I, I'll, I'll see it like a documentary somewhere and I'll be like, let's see what this is. And within like five seconds of the voiceover, I'm like, I can't watch that. Yeah. Oh, some of them, they send you I'll, around I'll, the bend, don't they? I'll know straight away. If it's like a generic, like, American voiceover guy. Or if it's um, Sean Pertwee. I can't stand Sean Pertwee. Oh, Sean Pertwee. Oh, really? Really, Why is that? really can't. It, oh, cause it, <laughs> is he a bit too gore blimey governor for you? No, no, he's too he's too dramatic. It's like it, it, it's, he's got this voice that's just like he oh, could be talking him. about a, he could be talking about a plant like growing on a t- time lapse footage of a flower growing. He'd be like, now it's growing like this, and it's drama and talking like this, and oh, it's like it's not it's not a car chase. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The plant is growing; it must expand. His, his voice just goes rubs me the wrong way. Imagine him doing Shakespeare. Oh, no, I think he does a lot of Warhammer stuff as well. Oh uh, yeah, In Warhammer audio books. It's like really no, no, not Sean Pertwee, please. Yeah, <laughs> he's Marmite, isn't he? He yeah. is one of them, isn't he? Because he's always got that kind of gruff drama voice, and it's like uh, it's, yeah. Uh, it's, it's like, like it's a like, science professor. Yeah, it's like narrating a science program, but with the voice of like movie trailer announcer guy. Yes, yeah, that's a good analogy, actually. Yeah, better than mine. It's a bit like it's a bit like trying to do a serious science program with that voice. <sighs> yeah, you sometimes you sort of think, yeah. I wouldn't say it's overdone, or he's, <laughs> but. He's, yes. he's a bit of a he's a bit of a ham. Is what I'm saying. Yeah, he chews yeah, the, he's, he chews the ste- chews the scenery a bit. Yeah, it's like yeah, you get one choice, don't you? It's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he's always got that. He's, he's got that weird kind of husky. Yeah, sort of sounds like he needs a, a throat lozenge. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. He's trying to be the hard man, but you're doing it. You're doing a program about like you know lemmings or some crazy nonsense. <laughs> I know. He's trying to get all Ray Winston or you, Henry VIII, you want yeah. to dry slap. This plant is growing, right? Yeah, yeah. No, Grass, that's that's not who you are, Sean Pertwee. Yeah. Lion, isn't it? It's going to eat it, isn't he? Yeah, look at that. I think as, I think as well, because I made the mistake. Well, I was going to say I didn't make a mistake, but of all the bad films that you can watch, obviously Battlefield Earth is the number one bad film. But Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine. The Never film, seen it, mate. You don't ever want to see it. It's not really... It's, it, it's just... Oh, it's just low budget. Am oh, I going to leave the hole if I watch it? <laughs> oh no, you, you should never watch it. It was low budget rubbish. But I think he plays like one of the characters, and it's just. Oh, I want to watch it because now. damn it, it's one of those films that, like, for the first twenty five minutes, nothing happens. It's lots of moody shots of space yeah. walking about and talking. And but like, and it's like he starts speaking. I'm like, I'm tuning out. Because, I mean, Warhammer's badly written at the best of times, but... I came across Sean Pertwee in uh, Love, Honour and Obey, and it's an uh, improvisation film that uh, Ray Winstone and that done with a few others. Oh, yeah. And he's in there, in, in that, and, yeah, he, at first I thought he was just hamming it up for the film, but mm. they did an interview, and I'm like... No, that's actually how he talks in real life. He's like, yes, he really does talk like this all the time. Yeah, and I was like, oh, okay. I'm just going to go into the fridge and get the milk <laughs> to make I, the tea. I would like to be one of the children that he reads a bedtime story to, you know what I mean? It frighten the life out of him, wouldn't it? For some reason, I've now just got in my head... Um, Oh, what's the actor's name? The one that talks like this, yeah, and he talks... Oh, what's his name? Cat Golf White. No, no, the no. Uh, no, the f- f- uh, uh, famous film actor. Um, uh, it's gone. The joke's died because I've forgotten his name. I was just imagining him reading The Three Little Pigs. Uh, That's going to back you now, isn't it? You're trying I to can think see of... his face. But my brain just keeps wanting to say Edward James Olmos, which is completely not right. <laughs> ah, well, it'll come. You'll think about it at about five in the morning. Yeah. 
that's normally what us two do. We'll say something on a stream and we're trying to remember it and then we remember it hours later so the messenger starts then, doesn't it? And it's like, yeah. Yeah, I hear. I just remembered. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Right, that's that. Well, did I? We can let that cool right down now because it's getting a bit stinky. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Bish, bash, and bosh. So we put that away for a bit now. Yeah. Okay, dokey. <laughs> Fix Bane, it's that was it. Uh, love, honour, and bay. Well, they're all having to shoot out. Fix Bane, it's. Yeah. Uh. It's <laughs> it's when they leave mate outside the car and he stabbed me. It really hurts. It really hurts. And you've got Bill trying to get the bloke out of the car. And Ray Winston goes, he ain't going to stop until he breaks that window. He's still going. He's still going. You hear in the background, you hear his window break. And he's like, told you. <laughs> they dress up as the Arabs. That's the scene that my missus always nearly uh, wets herself watching because, yeah. All it's right. gold. But the beauty of it is, is it's all improvisation, Fox. And, oh, yeah. You know, it's like, I could just imagine the laughs they had on set making that film. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, just one of them I love watching. Improvisational nonsense. Yeah, because, yeah, it's just so rare that you see something like that, especially done so yeah. well. So, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right. So John Pertwee those. starred in Dog Soldiers, which weren't bad, and Event Horizon, which is a D. I didn't like Event Horizon. Not, Not Al Pacino, PJ. It's um... God, Christopher Walken. Name. That's the one, Christopher Walken. Yeah. I had Christopher Walken in my head reading The Three Little Pigs. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You can just hear it in your head. He's got such a way of wording things, isn't he? I love and I love. I just I can't oh, do yeah. the voice, but I, oh, I can hear him in my sound. It's got that little can... yeah highs and lows in all the wrong places. I'll blow your house down, <laughs> yeah. like blow it down. I, can, I can't do his voice, but I can hear it in my head now. Yeah, there was a thing on YouTube where he was on. I think Jimmy Kibble or something, and he's. Yeah, it just come out with this completely weird statement and they're all in the audience. You could see them all thinking, is he stoned? <laughs> He's like, needs more cowbell. It's like, hey, what, what are you on about? <laughs> oh, is that where the reference comes from about him yeah. and cowbell then? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it was on the Jimmy Kibble show, but yeah. It's like, yeah, some of the Christopher Walken quotes that are out there, but there's a YouTube video and it's celebrities doing impressions of Christopher Walken and it's brilliant yeah. listening to them because pretty much 90% of them nail it, you know? Yeah, there's, there's some impression that does a really good Christopher Walken. I remember yeah. this American guy. It's like, ah. like, you know, you know. <laughs> yeah. that's the only bit I can, like, you know, if I, I take it too far, then I just sound like Top Cat or something or. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not a person that can do impressions because I've just got me accent, and it's like, yeah, yeah, doesn't lend there itself. Be, there might be some impressions you could do. You just don't know what they are. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what's this guy look like? He looks like that. <laughs> Uh, Bobbin it says is. he's got a recording of Christopher Walken reading The Raven. He says it's brilliant. Yeah. <sighs> never more. Never more. <laughs> yeah. I've, 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 seen <laughs> I've seen a video of uh, LeVar Burton. Oh, right, yeah. You know the, the classic American children's story, Good Night Moon? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Night Moon. But... <laughs> But he's reading it, but it's called Please Just Go the F to Sleep. Oh, really? But he obviously says the word. And yeah. it's like, it's based on Good Night Moon, but he reads it like, because he did like the Reading Rainbow books of uh, series or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he just, like, so he's reading it like a proper children's story, but he says, Please Just Go the to Sleep. <laughs> Please Just Go the F to Sleep. Lavarba and Blimey. 
Right, where does this guy... Some of the sculpting on these figures is brilliant, but some of it's so a bit vague. and bit they bish, can't tell it? if it's. Well, some of it, I can't tell if it's armour or clothing. I'm going to do a lot of looking at the, the photo giraffes. But it's hard to tell which one is which on some of these on by looking at the figures. Uh, is it that one? Could be that one. Mebe. 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. It's quite tricky. I'm not sure. Could be that one. Yeah, could imagine that's because like Christopher Walken reading the Raven. I don't know the Raven. What's that? I, 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 mean, I vaguely know of it, but I don't know it, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Is it the thing with the Raven saying Nevermore? Is that the one? Sorry, mate. I don't know what the raven is. I know of it, actually. Is that the one where the raven says never more? Oh, is it Poe does the raven? Edgar Allan Poe. But, uh, yeah. You know. <laughs> Got around Christopher Walken doing the sat nap. Yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Bless you. Mm, what should he be? Don't know about that one. What's that? I'm choosing colours for these dudes. Oh, right, yeah. They tend to have a like a, a top and a bottom, usually. And it, they usually mix of... On, the one I'm doing are like mix of greys and reds. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Some of them will have like red skirts and some grey yeah. skirts. And... Yeah, Edgar Allan Poe. There you go, LW. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe. 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 Yeah. Is that what I said? That's what you said? Yeah. It is indeed what you said, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, put my finger in paint, you spoon. I saw yeah. a recent picture of Chris Balk, and I thought, my God, he's got old. Bless him. He's in oh. his eighties now, isn't he? Yeah. yeah. I read somewhere that I was shocked to find someone's ninety-three, but I can't remember. Gene that Hackman. One. Uh, no. It was someone that you didn't expect to be 93, but I can't remember who the hell it was now. Yeah. I was like, really? Oh, what? No, wow. And then I instantly forgot, because that's how rubbish I actually am. Yeah, it's them that's supposed to have the bad memory, mate, not us two. Yeah, but we've got a lifetime of eating in the 1970s and 80s in Britain. It has an effect. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not far wrong there, mate. We've got, like, you know, we've had crispy Finders pancakes in our intestines at some point. Yeah, we had turkey Twizzlers as well, didn't we? Bernard Matthews. Yeah, yeah. that's uh, military-grade yeah. stuff there, so... Hardcore, mate, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Stop switching, Wilkinson. Wilkinson! Do, 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 do. Now, is it ten past two? It's about time you started standing up soon. Oh, uh, yeah, I will do in a sec, mate, when I put this down. I mean, I won't run late, late. I'll probably finish at half past, to be honest with you. All right, cool. Early night. Uh, yeah. Can't stop shaking me. Yeah. One of them. You can fight it, but you can't always win. You can't always win. Nope. The better one knows when to give up and regroup. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't see where that went either. I heard it. I heard it go ping. Oh, really? <laughs> now, I was telling Colin earlier on today. I must, I must stop calling you Colin. I was telling Fester earlier on today um, that we had a delivery today. We had uh, Mama Wolf's wheelchair turned up. Because... She has regular hospital visits, and I've got her a little wheelchair, but it's this little really terrible, cheap, like, it's almost like a lawn chair with tiny little wheels. It's terrible. I wouldn't trust it to last more than, a, you know, I, w I would expect it to fall apart the moment you get out of the car and wheel her down the road with it. And uh, so 
whenever we get the passenger transport to come and pick her up from hospital, we have to ask them to bring a wheelchair. But then when she gets to hospital, of course, they have to then go and find a wheelchair to put her into so they can go away and leave her there. But the problem is they can't always find one. And we took her in on Monday for something and they couldn't find a wheelchair. So she's having to totter around the hospital on my arm and she can't, she can't walk very far without a frame. So I thought, right, we'll have to stop doing, we'll have to get a wheelchair for you. She doesn't need it for get around the house, but just, you know, for your hospital visits and stuff. So I ordered this nice little wheelchair. Yeah. It turns up today. And uh, I've never sat in a wheelchair before. And this is like, it's not like, you know, it's not a proper, like, you know, many thousands of pounds wheelchair. It's, it's, it's a budget job, but it's, it's a good chair. It's got proper bike wheels and everything. So I set it up and it was like, it was easier to put together than the little cheap 50 quid one I got, which is rubbish. Yeah. I was, oh, this is nice. It's got a cushion and everything. It looks quite good. And I set it up and I sat in it. My God, it was comfortable. <laughs> and I was telling Fester earlier on, it's like this wheelchair was more comfortable. It cost less than my gaming chair that I'm sitting in now. And it was more comfortable than my gaming chair. And I says to Fester, you know what? I said, I sat in it and I was looking at the TV and I thought I could sit in this and play on the Xbox all day long quite happily because it's not uncomfortable at all with its cushions and stuff. Oh, yeah. And I found myself thinking if I had in my desks lower down, I'd actually get a wheelchair for this room so I could just sit in my wheelchair, play on the Xbox and then just turn it around and be at the workbench. I don't need a wheelchair, but I said, it was so comfortable. To the point that if I had a choice between a gaming chair or an office chair and a wheelchair but I could lower all my desks. I'd go for a wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Damn, it was comfortable. That's what I was saying to you. I, I sit in mine in the conservatory. If I wasn't working on an old kitchen, mm. mate, I'd, I'd use it as me, yeah. me go-to chair in here. Because I know you hate your wheelchair, but it's just a chair. Yeah. It's really, really comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, don't like using it out in public, I must admit. No, but as a chair. Because it's like, I'm sat there... It's got my feet on the on the footrest, so my my legs are at ninety degrees, which is a great position to have your legs in anyway. Yeah. And okay, it's not got the best back support in the world, but it was so comfortable. I was like, I could sit, I could sit in this all day and paint or play on the Xbox or work on my computer. Oh yeah. Wow. So now we need to figure out how to get all my tables and benches in my in my in the room <laughs> here, like drop by three by two foot. <laughs> I don't really. Well, as I was saying to you before, you know, I, I could put a ramp out here and wheel myself on that, but I mm. would forget that I'm on a ramp, and then yeah, yeah. Because I mean, you, you've said in the past before you designed your your workbench and everything there Sat to be in able the wheelchair, to be used. yeah, yeah. If you ever had to, so yeah, yeah. I can reach everything from the wheelchair, but I find the actual bench itself is just a bit too high. Yeah, but it's like H said, we'll just. We'd lower it down anyway, so. Hmm. So one day, if I if I if I make it somehow, and I can have like a little studio where I can do me filming and me painting and me video gaming stuff, I will actually get it done and have it get a wheelchair because it was so comfortable. <laughs> why would I want? A, why would I want a gaming chair after that? Because. She's so going to like I know who wants to be in a wheelchair. No, I mean, no, I mean, obviously, I wouldn't want that. I'm, I'm not trying to like minimize the the the, the importance of people. Oh, no, have good God, no, mate. I know you're not. You're no, no. It's not in your but nature. Just, just, but just as a piece of furniture. So, I mean, obviously, they have to be comfortable because people sit in them all day, but. Yeah. It's like, wow. surprised oh yeah they got their uh uses i think uh, my wife is secretly looking forward to her next hospital visit just because she quite like i put her in it right she never sat in one before apart from the little the little cheap one i've got her. yeah um and this one's got you can wheel it yourself and stuff she sat in it i said give it a go pushing it and she went i haven't got the arm strength so give it a go she went oh, oh yeah she was whizzing about she was, she was turning around and everything without even being shown how. Oh, yeah. I'm in the conservatory, mate. I'll scoot around in it quite happily, yeah. but out in the real world, I just really can't. It's 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 really it's mad. It's a psychological thing, but mm. you just feel that everyone's staring at you and mocking you because you're in a yeah. wheelchair. And 
the thing I noticed with it, especially when we were in London, people lean down and talk to you like you're five. Yeah. That bugs me. It's like I'm not mentally impaired. I'm in a pram because of mobility. Yeah. Don't treat me like I'm mentally impaired. But it's something people do, and I don't I don't think people realise they're doing it, to be honest. No, with you. they're not doing it maliciously. No, just... I don't think it's a deliberate thing, but it's something. And I've spoken to a lot of other people that spend time in a pram, and mm. they all think the same. It happens to them as well, and it's like it is a thing. <clears throat> yeah. So. People mean nothing by it, but it just seems to be. No. It is strange, isn't it? Yeah. Right. He's got his foot planted firmly on that. <coughs> right. Okay. And the pipes come out of that. Right, up his back. Get your pipes out. Yeah. His back pipes are out. Absolutely. That's a whole different kettle of fish. And then they go into the back of these bad boys. I'll sit on his shoulder pads. There are some weird little moulding issues on these little Mad. Boys. Absolutely mad. That's yeah, what it makes is. orcs fun. Yeah. That's why I knew you'd like orcs. Happy days. We got him. I've got to print two more drummers out because they're going on the back of the do flagon. So we got that to do. Yeah, because you don't want one drummer. That's Ruby. You want many drummers. Oh, yeah, you've got a load of drummers. That'll sit on that side. Okay, so I'll take a fair old bit of glue on there. Bring the old guitar down a tad. Inst inst. Funny thing is, these aren't hard to paint. But they're slow to paint. Oh right. Just because it's all getting into little fiddly bits. And they have this problem that I've never actually solved, which is when you have people with like skirts or these kind of like wraps that go to their knees. Yeah. And they're not hollow because obviously it's not a hollow figure. Yeah. What do you do about the underneath bit? Like people in flowing robes where it's not hollow and you've got this you can see it, but do you paint it black? Do you just let it stay darkened with the wash? I've never figured out how you're supposed to do that. Yeah. And I've not found any advice online as to what other people do with it. So I don't know. I've got no answer for that, to be honest yeah. with you, mate. I think I'll just get it darkened with the wash and leave it. So that goes on there. Let's have a quick look at chat for a minute. Uh, on there. Cool. Uh, no, no. Shatner is around 93. That's it. It was William Shatner. He's William 93. Shatner. You know, at 93. Bloody 93. hell. 93. Good God. And what? it was only a couple of years ago we went into space. Yeah. Yeah. For a bit. For a bit. We're going to have that horrible influx when they all go, isn't it? Where it's just going to be one after another and it's like, yeah, so many iconic people that we're going to lose and it's sad to think about it, but we've all got to go sometime, I suppose. But. LW Webb says, and I'll try, but this will be terrible. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered. I can't do it. I can't do Christopher Walken. I can hear him in my head. Yeah, I was going to say, I'd stop whilst you're behind there, mate. Yeah. Once upon a midnight dreary while I pondered weak and weary over many a quite and curious volume of forgotten lore while I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly came a tapping. <laughs> Our little square friend there, little flat friend, is terribly confused. <laughs> I love his diff flatland thing. Anthony Hopkins is 86. Oh, wow. Uh, Peach says, according to Colin, I'm 1912. It's not true, honest. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's not forgotten, is he? He's not happy, is no. he? Uh, Peach says, easy. my daughter has a mobility scooter to get around. She's like a mix of Evil Knievel and Michael Schumacher. Oh. And Peaches actually gets an extra 10 internet points for spelling Knievel correctly. Yeah. Evil Knievel. Now, there was uh, a legend. Yeah. LW Webb says, My neurologist suggests using a wheelchair on occasion when I'm tired or weak, but I told him I would when I can no longer drag myself around by my fingertips. Uh, yeah. Uh, Dick Van Dyke yeah, is you've, 90. You've said to me before about having a stair lift, and it's like, no. Nope. Not giving in. I go up and down the stairs on my backside. That's good enough yeah. for me. It will, they will drag you kicking and screaming. Yeah. It's just, yeah. 
Yeah, Dick Van Dyke, 98. Oh, wow. You'll never die. <laughs> I couldn't believe that on, in Diagnosis Murder, the, the actor that plays his son is his son. Oh, is it? Yeah, and he was the guy that was also in that, that spin-off episode of Battlestar Galactica, I think. You know, the big square jaw actor guy? Yeah. That was his son. Oh, wow. That's something new every day. Yeah, I think it was his son. I could just be making that up. I don't know. Whole cloth, I don't know. It's entirely possible. I just made that up. Let's try and get that where I can do, 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 do. I have to say, I do like my fist in red so much. It's such a nice colour to paint with. Such a delight. It will stick. Perhaps it won't. It's not sticking. That's no, because I can't hold it together because I'm twitching. So I've got to stop building for the night. I got a spam email one telling me that it could help improve my in out sticking. <laughs> I didn't respond. Oh. A much more glorious dawn awaits. Not a sunrise, but a galaxy rise. A morning filled with 400 billion suns. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That bit needs to be skinny pink colour. Skinny pink colour. Skinny pink. Luckily, what base colour to use for the rat skin is quite easy. You just use rat skin. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> that one's kind of a no-brainer. For once, they gave a name that actually makes sense. <laughs> it's funny how many of their paints actually relate to Skaven. Oh, right, yeah. And yet Skaven are such an underrepresented clan, uh, category in the in Age of Sigmar and Warhammer old world. Skaven Blight Dinge. Dinge for Storm Skaven Blight. Storm Vermin Fur. Grey Seer. Ratskin Flesh. Yeah, so that's all I can remember. Bobby says, never mind a wheelchair, get a small ATV. Exactly. <laughs> God, the fault of Mama Wolf in an ATV is quite scary now. Oh, God. Well, she used to work. She used to do voluntary work for our local shop mobility. Yeah. So she used to deal with, like, uh, the, those kind of scooters and stuff. Yeah. That's what she did, like, renting them out and giving them out to people and stuff. She, she said... It's ironic then, isn't it? Yeah. Well, she said this copper came in one day. He was, was one of the local coppers. He came in one day with a scooter and he was like red in the face, sweating cobs and absolutely out of breath. Yeah. And he said, I've just come from the other side of town, basically, because the battery ran out and I've had to push it all the way. And she's like, why are you so tired? It's only like a mile. And he uh -huh. went, because it's just, a, it weighs a ton. And she went, did you take the handbrake off? Yeah. And he's like, what handbrake? <laughs> He'd pushed it all the way across town with the brake on, basically. <laughs> he wouldn't oh, have worked with that. He's like, yeah, you just, there you go. <laughs> he's like, mm. he just, he just found some old lady in it. Run, so he said he'd, he'd, he'd rescued her and yeah. would take it back to the shop. And it's like, I didn't know there was a handbrake. <laughs> What are you doing now? All right, that's as far as I'm going to go with them. Are you done for the night, sir? Uh, yeah, I'm having grip and twitch issues now, so I've yeah, got to pack well, up for stop. the night. I can stop now, so. That's I'm all right. You can carry on doing stuff. It's just I'm not going to be out of it at the moment because I can't stop. I'll try to hold things together and my hands just won't work together at the moment. Yeah. A bit frustrating, but hey ho. Happens to us all. I shall stop for the evening anyway, I think, because I'm yeah, tired. That's all right, mate. Bless you. 
And let me force no, you to I'm stop. Having, I'm having the can't see things easily at the minute because I'm tired, so. Oh, lamakins. So, I shall also quit while I'm ahead. Yeah. I shall not snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. Uh. I do that far too often. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to undo me good work that I'm trying no. to do. And, uh, yeah, so. Yeah. We haven't done bad, though. We've managed yeah, to get the base of the truck stretched. I've managed to get both of... Oh, my God. The insanity of this. <laughs> the insanity of this. You're now it's all in situ, aren't you? I mean... No, not at all. I never regret a build, Fox. You know I, I, don't re I don't mean regret. I mean, you're thinking, oh, God, what have I done? No, not at all. It's going to be quite, quite a thing. <laughs> That's so cool. So, yeah, trying to get it all on shot, but, yeah, because I've got a little stage to go in the middle of it yet, so they, they'll be <laughs> splayed apart a bit more. But, yeah, it's just something different, isn't it? I think it's awesome. Uh, why not? You Your know, imagination right. has not just run wild, it's just legged it completely. Yeah, I know it's not a regular model kit, so to speak, but I like you to know. do different things. That's just what I do, so... Modeling I, isn't just all kits, you know. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm happy. I'm having fun. Let me do it. Yeah. Is how I see it. So, yeah, yeah, and I've got a load of stuff to add on to it, and I'm thinking, where the hell is it going to all go? <laughs> That's what I meant when I said regret. I didn't mean regret. I meant, like, you're thinking, oh, what am I going to do with this thing? No, not at all. I, it's, I need to build it to see <sighs> it in its entirety. It may sound bizarre, but... Because then I know where it's going to live, and then I can go right. I know now I know the environment it's going to sit on the shelf, what it's sitting on the shelf with, and yeah, give it a story. That's the you whole need idea. to see it all in one piece so you can start to plan the tactics of how you're going to get H to allow you to put it on that shelf space. Mate, goes in my man cave. I put it where I want. Uh, unless she claims it, she might well do. Actually, she might like this one. Yeah, she's already claimed the black coach. That's hers. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> exactly. The black pearl. Uh, Pans are saying good morning, literally, as we're coming off air there, mate. Uh, nice hey, to Pans. see you in, mate. I hope you're doing all right, guys. <clears throat> Always nice I, I to myself, see you in. Tonight, I've not done much at all. Well, I've not done nothing, but I've, I've finished painting up all the fur colours, touching them in on all the bits and the bobs. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, like, so they're all flesh coloured, and then I've added the fur colour on top. Yeah, and I've started painting some of the clothing, so I've got two dudes with red, little red skirty bits for now. Yeah, oh, nice one. Some mate. of them will, some of them will have red skirts, some will have grey skirts, and some will have grey tops, and some will have red tops. Yeah. <clears throat> so I'll vary them around. Oh, nice they always one. look terrible before you get all the colours in, but right now they're just looking really basic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, look all right, it's, mate. It's difficult to get that kind of random look when they're all like ragabond and West wearing rags. It's quite tricky to be random. Yeah. So, hmm. I'm enjoying it, though. I like painting my little cheese boys. At the end of the day, mate, it's like I say, it's, again, it's something different, isn't it? Yeah, cheese boys. At the end of the day. Like I say, you've, <laughs> you've got the set. You're flipping them, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I'll flip them. So, just before the new... Cunningly, just before the new ones are going to come out, and they'll look completely different, so... Oh, um, right. Okay, so you can flip that <laughs> set as well. <laughs> so well, no, we no by, the time these, by the time I get these finished, these old ones probably won't be... Not usable, but nobody will have them anymore. They'll have all the new ones. It's yeah, like I was going to say, really... time you get them painted, mate, it'll be a new millennium. I see what I did there. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there, Tom. <laughs> You'd do the same to me. Yeah, so, but... uh, yeah, carry on, mate. No, that's right. I was just going to say, uh, same thing. Happy uh, days. Nobody will be buying the old ones by the time I finish these. No, not at all. But right. never mind. Exactly. Right, folks. Well, we're going to love and mm -hmm. leave. Your apologies is a bit shorter than normal, but I think we're both a bit knackered. And, yeah, uh, yeah. so uh, we'll be back this time next Friday. We'll be back mm -hmm. for a Friday frolic. We'll be off air until then, so we're both going to yes. have a bit of a breather, and mm -hmm. uh, we'll come back for a Friday frolic next weekend for you folks because mm -hmm. yep. it's Easter, it's bank holiday and all of that lot. So I'd like to have the week off before the beginning of each month just to try and recharge a little bit. So I'm going to stick to yep. that and be a good boy. Yep. So remember, yeah, good girl, whatever. Um, <laughs> I don't know. What's he like? Uh, so until then, folks, stay safe and well. Thanks for your continued support. And we will catch up with you next Friday 
for another Friday frolic, folks. Yes. Mm. Until then, bye-bye for now. Adios, Bye. Amigos. Bye. Hey kid, don't ever let them get inside your head They'll tell you what to do in life instead Of everything you know that you can get Don't let them guide your life towards regret I'll fight for what I love with every breath My past is filled with things I won't forget I use them all to push me to my best So treat the worst of times just like a test if only I could go back in time I'd tell myself that everything will end up alright Just push yourself, test yourself, figure out what you like And find your limits, don't be rigid, always work towards a prime Surround yourself with open minds, people can change your life A few friends with intent can help you feel alive Find a passion, take some action, and with a little time Just be patient, make a statement, try to enjoy your life They'll try to kick you while you're down 